Uh, we live. Uh, we. Yep. Okay. These are some more sushi belts. And, uh. I had some thoughts about trying to ensure that we break up the items and distribute them a bit more evenly so we don't get for instance 50 uh 50 red signs right about here and none of it over here at any given moment and i kind of started experimenting with uh a, a method of making sushi belts that I haven't tried in a long time. A I am suck. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Feeling better? Yeah, mostly pretty good, actually. Um, thanks for asking. So, I kind of accidentally uh, came up with a pretty good actually a really good combinatorless uh, sushi belt system. The combinators that you do see are here just for testing purposes. Uh, and basically the gist of it is... Uh, well, let's make a little tiny version of it right about here. Uh, all we're doing is looking ahead some arbitrary number of tiles. The longer the sushi belt is, the further ahead you might want to check, depending on what you want to do. And this is just going to say red science equals zero. And what this will give us is not just to limit the red science on the belt and leave room for other resources, but a nice, fairly uniform distribution of uh, red science. Over here we've got um, a fairly compact way of doing the inputs for seven different science packs. Uh, so we just start with this. All of these are read belt contents hold, and this one is just enable disable. Then we do the same thing with uh, red wire instead of green, and we can actually overlap them. Uh, so this tile receives input only from these tiles, and this one receives input only from these tiles. And I think if you want to look four tiles ahead, that's about as small as we can get. Um, if we want to have this repeat indefinitely. So we've got red signs, green signs, blue, well, black and blue. Clever, thank you. Um, obviously, if you want a higher throughput, you'll want to be inputting... Uh, not just from one side of the belt. So I messed around a little bit with designs, including splitters. Uh, the trouble with this is you can't read items while they're on the splitters. Uh, so you're going to get... You're going to get thick chunks of red signs or whatever other signs being put onto the belt. Uh, but that's not so bad. Here's the same experiment again, but looking a bit further ahead. And uh, just some lazy, rough way of reading about how evenly distributed these science packs are. And space science is actually quite low on this one. I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. It's the last one that gets to enter. And this belt actually got completely saturated. Uh, this one's a bit better because we've got some gaps. Um, we actually do have a fairly 
even spread. Uh, but just so that I'm not eyeballing it so much, um, I did make versions of all of these that have a counter and just let them run. And as you can see, uh, for this version in particular, the error bars are quite small. Um, less than 5%. Uh, I think these ones are about 5% as well. 350 to 362 or 334. Um, 248 in the middle, 256 max, 242 minimum. Yeah, that's pretty good. And the nice thing about these belts... Not only do they not require any electricity to work, um, you're not going to get the count messed up if you lose power or something, um, but... It doesn't matter if you go ahead and do something like this, either. Well, okay, in this instance it does because I put a counter on this. Whoops. But the counter is not actually a functional part of this uh, sushi system. It's literally just there to get an idea of how well this works. Um, but yeah, I can go and do something like that. We don't need to connect the inserters taking from the belt to a counting system. And this will actually just uh, sort itself out over time. So it's uh, more resilient. Uh, you don't need to put circuit wire all the way around the sushi belt to do it this way. Uh, so what's the downside? Um, the downside is basically just if you have a really big sushi belt system, um, you're gonna want you're gonna want to look ahead quite a decent amount um, so that you can really put certain resources onto the belt uh, quite sparsely. Uh, but yeah, I mean it's certainly it's certainly quite good for science. It might be a bit late to implement this on the sushi belt that we've got in orbit, but on the other hand, I do need to go ahead and repair that anyway, after our little uh, disaster with a certain cannon system. Back we go. Alright, so that UPS though. Let's put this thing on. That's better. Make sure I'm not running my browser either. Okay. Um, so we're still in the getting stuff off of this sushi belt stage. Looks like we need to pick up plastic. Where are we storing the plastic? Up here. Okay, let's remove this. I think we've got all of the ice now. And I'll set that to plastic.
Maybe I should use regular filter inserters and set more of these filters. What else can we pick up? Steel? No, I think we did steel already. Nope, there's some. Why don't I just set a couple of these at a time? Still got plenty of life support, right? Oh yeah, 12 hours. Okay. What else are we doing? Mostly just trying to fix this. And once we rebuild it, uh, I wanted to tweak some of the numbers for different resources on the belt so that we could improve the throughput for some of this stuff. Uh, looks like glass in particular we might want a little bit more of. Not sure. What goes into this? Glass? Yeah, we're definitely going to want glass. Okay, let's get green circuits back into this. Um, can we maybe... Put it over this way. That should do it. I could just start running around picking items up, but actually my inventory is quite full. Carrying an awful lot of, of uh, modules. Polished data storage substrate. That goes here, I think. And we're getting there. Let's add some coal to this. Uh, sulfur. Hmm, where are we going to put sulfur? In a chest, I guess. A baker staunch. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. In the sulfur cupboard? Yes. Right next to the, uh... Uh, deodorant and that stuff you use to make a room smell better. Uh, we need to pick up our science thingies as well. Well, do we though? Yeah, we have to pick everything up just to make sure we're counting it properly. Oh boy. Okay. I might just let it I might just get most of the things off of the belt and then pick up the rest. LDS. Let's put science thingies in a chest. Why are there so many cargo rocket things on the belt? Shouldn't they be... Oh. Wait, what? This shouldn't have an enabled condition. Oh, it's reading from this, not from the main... Okay, so that is cargo rocket section from here has to be greater than or equal to 100, so that's enabled. So why... 
This has the wrong recipe, that's why. Okay, cool. Uh, packing cargo rocket sections. There we go. Okay. I am a very smart person who never makes mistakes. Okay, Vulcanite block. Uh, heat shielding. Let's rebalance this just in case. Glass. Red circuit. Alright, my inventory has a bit more space now. And then... What do we got left? Data thingies? And other data thingies. And then... Rocket fuel goes up here. I should really use filter inserters for this and just start adding filters to it. Uh, what was it? Rocket fuel? Uh, are those rough data storage substrates? Whatever, let's just put them in chests for now, and... Substrate... Actually... Oh, let's get both of them. Substrate... Uh, red circuits, let's put them back in here. If we can. Explosives. Heat shielding. Forget what this is called, but some kind of data card. Uh, junk data card, there we go. And I think that might be everything. Is stone brick still on the whitelist here? Nope. Astronomic Science Pack 1. these. I think we're running out of stuff on the belt, and we might have set the filters to get rid of everything. What are you doing here? I see nothing but circuits and sulfur making it through there now. Oh, 
Oh, it would probably help if we were getting the sulfur over there. Why don't we just pick it up? It gets through. I think there's like 10 left. Although I could do this as well. Where'd that sulfur go? Could have sworn I picked some up. Sulfur. Nope. Okay. It's not in my trash. There you are. Let's stop running around in circles and just pick up the rest. As soon as this is done, we need to remember to remove all of the stuff that takes off of the belt without counting. Um, all of this. What are you doing? Strange bots. Oh, I didn't actually... I think I picked something up off the ground there. And I think that might be everything. Probably should have done all of that in one place. So there's... Oh, here we go. So there's no chance of forgetting something like that. Actually, should I... What's our count at the moment? A lot. Alright, so what we're going to need to do is... Uh... I want to get a pulse of all of this and then send it back with a pulse multiplying it by negative one. If we can. So we'll just connect that to... Not there. To here. Okay, so we've just copied this memory cell. Now we will... Do this as a each less than zero. Multiply the whole thing by negative one. And connect this to here. And I'm pretty sure as soon as I connect this wire, we're going to reset this to zero. Got to make sure everything's in order before we do that. Which I think it is. Pretty sure. Yeah, I think we're ready. Okay, let's do it. Pulse. And away goes this. And these. Already we've put a bunch of stuff back onto the belt.
I'm surprised uh, how quickly the trash was put on there. I guess it was waiting. Um, so why are we not... Is this all connected? It is. Oh, I forgot to put those inserters back. That's fine. Yeah, I actually really like that part of this uh, design. That we're not putting wire connections on the inserters, so we can just remove the inserters whenever we want. Very easy way to stop the flow for a moment. In case we should need maintenance. And let's consolidate, well actually no, I was going to say let's put all this into one chest and put it back on the bell, but rather than doing something silly like that, uh, let's do something a bit more real, uh, reasonable. So we're going to say... Green wire, uh, read hand contents pulse, and each of these are going to have a condition. Now, these are all under 100, except for junk data cards, which we should... I think we should just put this stuff back on the belt, actually. Uh, so no condition. And then once we get everything flowing again, we're going to want to tweak uh, the max values for how much of each resource we put on the sushi belt. So we can get better throughput for certain items like steel, glass, and iron plate, probably. Oh, uh, let's not do that. I was also trying to figure out a way... I, I had an idea, but I doubt we're going to solve this immediately. Um, if that goes there, and this is something like iron only to this side... And then... I don't think that's going to work. Where's this one going to go? That one goes straight through. So this merges to here every time. That goes straight through. Straight through, straight through, straight through. Has to merge to here, only for iron plate. Straight through. I guess that does work. Can we make some variations on this? Uh, let's bring it over here for now. We'll 
we can't exactly force all iron plate to a certain belt. Especially without causing problems. Hmm. I'll let that digest in my brain a bit more. Alright, these are finished. Let's get rid of them. Um, so it looks like we've actually got plenty of room on the belt still. Uh, we could definitely... Why do we have a thousand coal? Coal... One thousand. Okay then. Can't remember what it was that is taking coal. This thing is. Um, iron plate is only 200. Let's see what these are bottlenecking on. Iron plate. Alright, let's bump up iron plate a little bit. I suspect we'll need it for more than a couple of things. So let's be daring and put it all the way up to 1k. What else are we stuck on? Steel? We have approximately eight times uh, 972, plus a little bit. Call it 7.5 thousand capacity on the belt, just to be safe. We've got three... Uh, less than half, I think. We can easily calculate this if we just multiply everything by C for count. Uh, by 1, rather. Output as C. 5.3 thousand items on the belt. So we're actually... I think there's a lot more storage capacity in the splitters and especially the space underground belts um, than I might have realized because there's actually a lot of room on the belt still. Even so, I'd rather be a little bit cautious, bumping up the count for one item at a time. This is actually saturated here, that's the important thing. So we actually have a decent amount of blue science things on the belt. Uh, what are we waiting on here? Significant data? And that one's astronomic insight. There's a... Oh. So... This is stopped. It'll stop when there's a bit more on the belt. Maybe I shouldn't have put any catalogs or insights on the belt just yet. Since we... No, they have to go over here as well. Okay. Uh, even so, I should have had... Well, there's no room for it, but other than that, I should have had something to pick up these items off the belt. But once we get to a hundred of each on the belt, it'll start putting everything else uh, straight to this one. We need 36 astronomic insights. Which means 36 astronomic catalogs. 
Oh, half of that, actually. Alright. Wait, didn't you need UV observation data just now? Oh, your output is full. Okay. So the whole thing's bottlenecked on UV observation data, which is bottlenecked on this one. And it seems like the speed of the machine is actually a significant bottleneck here. Even though we're doing the sushi thing. Cold thermofluid and blank observation, those are very easy to produce enough of, it seems like. Uh, yeah, we can easily improve this just by adding some speed modules. Speed modules, yes indeed. And then... Well, this one doesn't need any speed modules. <laughs> but considering the massive abundance of power that we have, it really doesn't matter. Um, but yeah. That's gonna be... That's still like 1.8 times as fast as it needs to be. And this one is obviously going to be waiting on those. If this was going at full speed, uh, it would be too slow. Uh, so this one is very much bottlenecked on these, so no need for uh, speed modules here. Speed modules? Spodules. Yes. And here comes some more astronomic insight. We're getting close to 100. And once we get to 100, we're going to be making a lot more of these. Well, more than zero, actually. So let's check. Um, these are actually not saturated anymore, so we need more glass on the belt. Uh, we'll definitely set this one to a thousand. Maybe I'm being a bit too reckless, but I do still see a ton of empty space on the belt, so that should be fine. I wonder if... I wonder if this would go a lot more smoothly with buffer chests for some of these items. In the long run it shouldn't really matter, I'm pretty sure. And how are you guys doing? More glass? More glass. This one's backed up though, that's good. Um, polished data storage substrate. Seems like this could benefit from a direct insert. The polished data storage substrates on the belt are somehow getting missed by this one for a lap sometimes. Oh, it's also bottlenecked on advanced circuits, so let's do something about that. I'll be a little bit more conservative this time and just set this to 500. See if that's enough. D 
do wish it had stopped flickering like that. Oh, it's because we're looking at the red wire at the same time. Let's point at just the memory cell. Okay. Junk data cut. Oh, we never finished this. Okay, thermal radiator. We need to build another one. Uh, we need to pay a visit to the space manufacturing. This one in particular. Need some steel. And steel we shall have. Thank you. Okay, so that'll be our negative 10 degree thermofluid. And then we just need to put in the junk data cards. Get a blue inserter for this one. I don't have any. I think there's a whole lot of them up here. Um, at least I thought there were. Oh, here we go. Okay. Uh, so what are we doing? Uh, we're putting things onto the belt, therefore green wire. Uh, read hand contents pulse. What are we making again? Link data cards or broken data cards. Um, yeah, since we're dealing with dodgy outputs, I think... We need to actually pick up the junk data cards, though. A Veldak. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, while we're at it, I wonder if I could fit something like this. Yeah, I think this is possible. Let's bump it up from 25% to 50% that a junk data card comes the right way this time. Why is there a little... Wait, what? Oh. I thought it was on the ground or something. Oh, I see. There's a specific recipe for the basic supercomputer for the recycling junk data card. Alright, so let's see if we can figure out how to... Uh, how to... force junk data cards to this belt without interfering with anything else. My Astro Science pack is flowing at a dizzying speed of 0 0.4 SPM. Perfect. Um, I don't think we need this to start with, do we? Junk data card goes here. And... Is that it? Does everything else just flow? Hmm. We can't do the same thing like so, can we? This would go here, this would have to go up here, this would have to go up here, this would have to go up here. No, okay. And these have to go up here, that's no good. 
Uh, I should design this where I've got a bit more space. So we want this to be able to go straight through. And this to merge in here. Is that it? This can go straight through. I think that's it. And if we were to... Repeat this pattern... What would happen? You can go straight through... Uh, no, I don't think that's gonna work. This, on the other hand, should be fine. I guess if you did... It's actually kind of confusing. Oh, and I forgot to rotate this thing. Uh, so this is going to be to take stuff out. We also need to pick stuff up. So red wire here. Unconditional read hand contents pulse. That should do it. Products finished four already. That's pretty good. I guess this is a pretty good way to get a feel for how full the belt is as well. It'll gradually sort itself out so it doesn't have just a big mess of stuff on one half of it. Nowhere near as good as the uh, circuitry that we demonstrated earlier today though. Okay. Products finished three. Fantastic. And... I don't think we have... Well, I was going to say I don't think we have anything else that consumes significant data. Uh, unless you count this one. I would love to also uh, set this as a priority inserter over this one. But with such a low throughput, I don't know how to do it. Uh, Yondiverse, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. If it was a high throughput thing, I would set this to something like... Uh, read hand contents hold, and this one is... That has to be equal to greater than zero. It has to be greater than zero, but also the fact that this wire is, uh, this already has conditions on it and the wire is in use. I don't think there's a way to smuggle that logic in here anyway. It's fine. Yeah, as soon as we get some significant data, uh, I think inserters like this will take the turns. Um, since a certain update, that's what you see with assemblers anyway. What are we waiting on? Astronomical Insight. 
so we're waiting on catalog, so we're waiting on UV, so we're waiting on observation frame. Oh, we're actually bottlenecked on cool thermofluid now. Interesting. Oh, uh, there's plenty of regular thermofluid. So we need to do better than this one machine, shockingly enough. Um, should probably find somewhere else to do this instead of just trying to cram it in here. Somewhere where we can scale this up. Considering that its only input is ultimately just uh, thermofluid. And we've got lots of it. Shouldn't be a problem. Why do you lack copper, though? Oh, you're just not picking it up. Okay. Um... Alright. Is this all connected? Yep. So I think maybe around here... It's actually mostly not in the robo network. Let's go get some more. I'm not sure why the bots weren't picking this up. Is the storage full? No. There's is there just one construction bot for this network? There's two. I'm not sure why that's the case. That should help. Hey, Evil Plur. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's drop off these cargo rocket sections. And go pick up the rest of that stuff. Completely forgot I had this here. Or maybe the bots put it here earlier. No, it's passive provider chest. All right. Why was that unpowered? I know we had some stuff destroyed over here earlier, but... I guess maybe I moved to substation and forgot about it. Alright, let's uh, give him a hand. On the two bots, bot attrition can be quite fierce in space. Um, I thought there was no bot attrition for construction bots though. Alright, if we have... I wish Rate Calculator could recognize ghosts. I don't suppose Max Rate Calculator does that. Um, let's say we speed module these things. What's the ratio? Uh, demo fluid 25 degrees. Oh, right, that's recycled. Uh, cool thermo fluid which is what we're making here, negative 10 degrees, is at 52 to 8.82. We need six machines to one of these. 
which is sort of a shame because I think I've got a spare one of these, but I need uh, another five thermal reactors. Let's go get them. Still got the same recipe. Okay. Um, I might just give myself a hand here. Oops. Alright. Assembler. If I had any, they're around here somewhere. Oh, we've got some satellite telemetry data still. Let's pick that up and drop it into the newer science system. There we go. What was I doing again? Oh yeah, assembly machines. Bonk. Sydney Kenson von Ice T. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Um, I kind of need a chest for this. It's still quite slow. Well, the bottleneck was not the stack inserter anyway. Oh, speed modules. Let's go. Uh, so how much does it make? One makes two. That means a stack is enough for one of these. I think I need to put in an, another stack or two to get what I need. Let's just double check things are okay on the sushi cannon side of things down here. Yep, looking good. And there goes more copper into the system, which means our copper has arrived up here. Fantastic. Maybe I should head back to bed. Shouldn't be awake. Did sleep for only like two and a half hours or so and have like four more hours till my alarm goes off. Definitely get some sleep. Uh, hope you can manage that. Need some more steel. And I think that's the last thermal radiator we need. Wait. Did, did I actually drop in precisely the amount of copper needed for that? That's kind of freaky. Take care, Sydney. Have a good sleep. Uh, so what was our ratio again? I think it was 6. 8.8. 8. 52. Yeah, it's 6. Oh, we can take this straight from here as well. Well, maybe not. Because we want to take it from... Yeah, we definitely want to take it from where it's attached to the storage. So maybe we'll just pipe this over. And then... Let's get rid of this for now. Kind of want to let it get rid of that fluid. And the 
this will be fine. One good thing about keeping the pipes not completely full is you can always not destroy some fluid as long as you deconstruct the pipes in the right order. Alright, so tentatively we're going to do this. And then just one of these monstrosities. Where should it go? Maybe thermofluid could go around here. So we'll have this facing down this way. Surface scan progress for Tolubai. I don't remember which one that was. Tolubai. This is our Bita Media's planet. It's extremely small. Oh, and it's done. We got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, six, seven, eight little biter bases. And we start on an island with one little nest. Uh, how do we stop the scanning? Or does it automatically stop? Radius, Tolibai, uh, stop all scans. And that was our planet with infinite uranium on it, even though it's the size of a tennis ball. Cute little planet? Yeah, it is. Alright, so this is going to go here, I think? Oh, that just barely doesn't line up where we need it to. Sad. Um, can I get some long pipe, please? Fifteen, nine, seven, five, three, and I might pick up a little bit more of the regular pipe. Um, there would definitely be no harm in connecting this here as well, but it doesn't really line up that well. Okay. I need a 13. How about this? That's not quite going to line up either, but it's fine. That only makes me a little bit sad. Um, I guess we'll do some threes for this. That actually looks quite good. That doesn't connect. This makes me sad. Okay. How about over here? What? Oh, there's some missing scaffolding. Let's go get some more. Bots are still hard at work emptying this stuff. I think I left all my bots behind, pretty much. Okay, so that goes there. Bit more pipe. Uh, 
another substation. And then... Uh, does this have a way to... Yeah, we don't need to, like, loop that around or anything, right? It just goes... What temperature do we need here? Negative 100. That's much colder. This does make thermofluid as well. Okay. So we need... That way. And then... Nope, that's not it. Negative 100. Eh. Okay, so the blue is negative 100, the purple is 25. And this purple is not 25, it's negative 10. This is negative... Uh, this is 25. Alright. So that needs to go back there. Is there going to be no convenient rotation for this? It definitely looks like it. Well, that is mildly upsetting. Let's do like a 15 over this way. And this would go here, I guess. Or something like that. Hey, the Westy. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I kind of want to connect that there, but we can't really. We could do some underground up this way. There's only... So the 25 degree has to come out to the left. Of the negative 100. That's a little bit unfortunate. Uh, if I move all of this over a bit... Then we can connect up like so. A I am Vera. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Arguing with a bot? Why not? There's no way I'm ever going to fit this all together in a neat way with the long pipe sections, right? That'll do. Uh, that could be better, but... I guess that's a little bit more efficient. Okay, it'll it'll be functional though, that's the important thing. Uh, let's remove most of these and do the three pipe on this side. And then connect it all up. Just double check our rate. Making slightly more... Uh, slightly more cold thermo fluid than we're using. Perfect. And that's our negative 10 degrees. And we're back in business. Fantastic. Only on a superficial level. It was set up by T-Hacks arguing with the bot. Is really blaming T-Hacks for setting up the bot wrong. Ouch.
I guess I should say I have the sound at 1% because I'm watching Fringe? What is that? Alright, so what's next? Um, we are getting some astronomic insights put into this thing. That's good. That means we've got a hundred... I was going to say that means we've got a hundred on the belt, but apparently it does not. I really wish I had left... Wait. Read hand contents polls. Hmm. I don't suppose there's a clever way to combine these functions. Um, if it was standing on its own, we could set filters. Uh, set filters to this and blacklist and if it's a positive number, don't put it on the belt. Um, that's the way we did it with uh, this system over here. But we would have to completely overhaul our... Uh, the limits on all of these would have to go to... Like, steel has to be... Plastic bar has to be less than zero. And then we'd have to pulse in the count that we want for each item. We could do it, but it would take a little while. So then this and... Th we would also need those big negative combinators to remove all of the superfluous uh, signals from every single one of these. And if we have more than 20 types of item on the belt, which, what have we got, 7, 21, 25. So yeah, we would need uh, two constant combinators for every single insert of putting stuff back onto the belt, um, just to get rid of the signals that it doesn't need. So I don't necessarily think that would be a good solution this time. However, um, it would be good if we could have an input for this one from the sushi belt. So we can pick up all of that uh, astronomic insight that we've already put there. If I really wanted to, I could bring this back here and bring it all the way down here. Oh, that's a little bit painful. How's our sushi belt looking? There's still plenty of space on it. Oh, here comes some more. And this one is switched off, so it's going to go straight into here. We've actually finished eight products. That's huge. 1930s detective story. Oh, just about the morality and ethics of technology. 4400 was about the ethics of morality and humankind. Sounds cool. All right, so... Did I not set this one up? Oh, we need stone. I thought we had stone. I remember causing some problems when we added stone to this thing, but no, we've got stone here. I haven't actually added some cannons to fire stone into space, though. Uh, I could convert some of these ones remotely, if I want to.
at this stage, I don't foresee sending uranium into space, or I think it's, well, it's obviously a lot further off than stone. We need stone right now. So I might just convert some of these to do stone. I could even leave room for the uranium as well. We don't actually need like six cannons for each resource. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, change the recipe to this one, or rather for this one. Hold on, where's the delivery cannon capsule going to go if I change this remotely? I maybe foresee a problem there. Let's do a save real quick. Okay, so if I do this, delivery cannon capsules on the ground. All right, well, that could have been worse. Uh, let's change this one to delivery cannon capsule stone. I'll change the filter on this one to stone. And away it goes. And the Signal condition for this one is recipe delivery cannon capsule stone. And you can see it's green. Alright, so we've already got three delivery cannon capsules in there. It's just a matter of picking up the stone. So, I think I already set this part up somewhere for stone. I did not. Oh, yes, I did. Here it is. And until we decide otherwise, we'll just put a hundred stone on the belt. What I might do over here, I'm sure nothing bad will happen doing it this way. Nope. Nothing, nothing bad at all. Okay, that's actually really slowing it down, but I wonder if it's because it was already sort of all pushed over here. I'll let it run for a little while and see how it goes. Oh, but then we're not going to get iron, copper, and plastic over here. Big brain. Let's just balance it normally and see how that goes. I still haven't come up with any solutions that I like for having a sushi belt that's wider than two lanes and taking things off of the sushi belt. Unless you want to do a giant arrangement of splitters. Which, no, I don't really want to do that every time. Um... This should probably have a red wire. I think we got distracted by biters completely destroying our base or something when we were working on this earlier. Read hand contents pulse, no condition, because uh, scrap has to go somewhere. This might still be the best thing we can come up with. 
Or maybe this in combination with what we did over here. We could also have... That would be three of the belts that can go to this inserter. You are also working on something on the north side of the belt. Uh, like up here? Or over here? No, there is my way, then there is the wrong way. I see how it is. Okay. I think I would like to extend the robo network down this way. And... Let's just double check that we've got everything. Oh, that's right. I was doing that. Hey, we finished eight products. That's what I want to see. Uh, there's stone on the belt, right? Yes, there is. Okay, cool. There's f why is there 57 broken? Oh, we didn't do that yet. It's this one. Broken data card becomes scrap. Okay, cool. And I can see some broken data cards going past us right now. We are counting the broken data cards. Yes. So this will be red wire. Unconditional. And green wire unconditional. Same as last time. Um, this goes here. Bingo, bingo. And there it is. Cool. So that should get sorted out. And just to double check, we did in fact set something up to get the scrap off of the belt. And we're automatically smelting it when we can. I remember we accidentally set up a weird clock here because uh, this was picking stuff up. Yeah, this was setting a recipe when there was only one stone. Therefore, this would put it in and then there was no stone and it would cancel the recipe and Crafting Combinator would put the stone back into the chest, which would set the recipe and on and on forever. Um, so we just had to change it so there has to be two stone. Cool. Read hand contents pulse. Uh, yes. Okay, cool. Let's see. None of this waste stuff has done anything yet. Oh, it needs, um, cosmic water. Cosmic water does not get produced here at all. We need to pick it up from way up here somewhere. Uh, this would be very convenient. Can we maybe make cosmic water the... Southwest one? Also, where did my fuel go? Let's get a little bit more. What? Alright, there we go. Um, cosmic water. Is already going over here, so it would not be much of a stretch to get it onto this pipe. I hope. That's not going to reach unless we get rid of the solar panel. 
It'll make me a little bit sad if I have to do that. But it might be necessary. Yeah, I think it is. Okay. Does that reach over here? Just barely. This is not going anywhere. I really need to fix my inventory. There we go. Long ish pipe. That's too long. Uh, let's just use regular pipe. And down here. Fantastic. And this just happens to come out somewhere very convenient. Beautiful. Wait, what? Oh, that's... Uh, do we need to... I think we do need to limit the flow of cosmic water, just like with coolant. Uh, at least down here. So... I could add some storage down this way. Or up here. I think I'll put it here. Wait, what's the rate of this stuff? I think this is just going to get blocked because it can't output cosmic water, right? Yeah, that is what we have to worry about. I guess since we're not going to build anything else hereabouts, uh, let's do something like this. Where are my pumps? Excuse me. I think that bot was bringing a pump. Yep, there it goes. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Um, please... Do not pump cosmic water in unless it is below, let's say, 15k. Maybe I should have done it on the other side of this stuff, but we've not had any trouble producing this fast enough whatsoever on this side, so I think we'll leave it, that's fine. Okay, what's next? We were bottlenecking on the fluid over here, right? UV observation frame, fluid, blank observation frame. So this is actually going at full speed now. That's quite good. Which means... We're at like a bit under half speed for this one. Call it one every 10 seconds. Which means this will be one every 10 seconds, except this also needs... So... One every 20 seconds between the two of these. And then... So one astronomic catalog about every 20 seconds. We only need one of those to make these. So this is one every 10 seconds. And... 
So about uh six minutes. We should be making an astronomic science pack about every six minutes. That looks about right. And we just started reaching that speed, it seems like. Alright, well, that could obviously be faster, but it is fully automated, so that's cool. Um, the main thing, if we want to improve this, is we need to, like, double the telescopes at least. Which we really haven't left room for. Um, might be challenging to get enough glass, steel, and coal to this thing on the sushi belt if we do that as well. Uh, Baker Staunch, thank you very much for the gifted sub. West 2, hope you enjoy it. Much appreciated, Baker. Thank you very much again. So... It's going to take 360 minutes. It's going to take six hours to research, like, the cheapest thing I could find. Oh, no, wait, this is times 11, not times 60. Okay, that's cool. How, how much does this cost? 500. That's huge. Yeah, we really need to up the throughput of that one. Um... But we can, in fact, research some things. Panspermia simulation. Cool. More efficient simulation by combining multiple disciplines. We also need a better computer, don't we? Need to scale up? Yeah. Um, before we do that, I kind of want to go to some other planets and get some other resources, like, I would really like to get what we need to get, uh, what do we need for plasma? Chemical gel. Chemical gel needs to go here. Uh, how am I going to get it from way up here? I think I'm going to have to remove all of these pipes. Actually, how would I even... I think we'll have to remove this and pipe it through like so. And maybe we'll just remove a few of these, or maybe not. Chemical gel, that is going to be... A nuisance, to say the least. Hmm. Can I do it around here instead? Maybe. That's slightly too long for a side... Actually, we might not put any fluids here, so this should actually be pretty convenient. Um, and that goes there. Simple as. Alright, so if this then goes over here, that should go there. That's pretty straightforward. I should have uh, separated these pipes just a little bit 
Who cares if they stretch vertically a bit more? It would have been a lot neater and easier to deal with. That's actually just barely not perfect. It makes me a little sad. Actually, can this reach any further? It can. Alright. That looks pretty cool. So that will be our plasma. Surprisingly slow. We can fix that. It's still surprisingly slow. What's the rate between these two? Way more plasma than we need. Okay, cool. Hold on, did that first recipe just make eight contaminated scrap? I thought it would be a percentage chance. It happens every time. Um, I also haven't actually... Uh-oh. We never actually finished this one. Um, hot thermodynamics data. It's probably going to be just like this and not going to go on the sushi belt, right? Yeah. So these two uh, require those things. No, wait, just this one? Okay, so it's not as... It's not that similar. Really don't need to speed that one up, that's fine. Okay, cold, hot, tensile... Impre uh, impressive? Impressive. Cold, hot, tensile is waiting for lubricant and iridium. And so is impressive. Okay. Where's my long arm inserters? Hopefully in a chest. There we go. And then... As slow as this will be, uh, we do need to use multiple belts. Um, let's make a bit of room for this. Where's my underground? Oh. And splitter. And one of these to the side. It doesn't really matter which one. Probably this one. Tensile strength data. Technically, they could both get backed up with... I could fix that. Read belt contents hold. Actually, I'll do the same thing over here. Uh, what is it called? Tensile. And same thing for compressive. So this part of the belt has to be empty for them to... Well, empty of their particular resource for them to put anything onto this part. Just trying to illustrate with the select tool there. There we go. Can I drop some of this stuff off? Wait, why would... Why was this not... Huh? 
Material testing pack. Material testing pack. Why did this inserter not put that in there? That seems very odd. Okay. So we got contaminated scrap that needs to go on the sushi belt. Um, we need to pick it up from here. I think no condition on this one. Oh wait, this should be a red wire, which means this should be facing the other way. Uh... Yeah. Alright. Subtracting from the belt, we're putting onto the belt. Contaminated scrap goes in here, so that can, that one could ignore. Unless we want to belt all of the contaminated scrap back this way, but then we're assuming... ...that there won't be anything else that makes contaminated scrap and put it on the belt. I'm not seeing it. Wait, was that it? I think that's some contaminated scrap. So it should get here eventually. You are just waiting on blank data card. There it is. Wait, what? That's a blank data card, isn't it? Oh, your output is full. Right. Okay. Uh, so we need a green wire on this one. Read hand contents pulse. Wait, it needs to be a filter inserter. And we're just going to take the contaminated scrap. Maybe I should belt it back to this thing. Yeah, I think that's just regular scrap on the belt. If we do belt it back this way, how are we going to do it? I think we would need a bit of belt weaving or something. This one doesn't produce scrap. Let's bring this over here. Um, do that like so. And filter inserters go this way. Uh, whoops. It's probably fine. This requires blank, blank. So this actually, this belt only has to go to this machine. So these can just, go over here. One, two, three, four, five. If I move this over a bit, Oops. Then we can probably just jump over this. Nice and easy. And then here we are. Nope. Low save just tried to mess me up there. Okay, that substation is slightly upsetting. There we go.
Will these inserters reach if the item is on lane four? Lane four. Oh, do you mean like because of the sushi belt? Yeah, that's a problem that I haven't really found a good solution to yet. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna need to use a long arm for one of these. Do this and uh, these two need to have a different belt. It's going to be some spaghetti. I could just do blacklist scrap to copy that over there, but no. Cold thermodynamics. And this one is hot. Oh. That'll do. Maybe you need splitters to sort items A, B, C to go on the left side and D, E, F on the right side. Uh, yeah, how would you go about it? So far, I've come up with this. And also, we can make 50% of the belts bring... Uh, junk data cards to this belt in particular, strictly, if we do this. Um, we could also do it on the other side and have a filter of junk data cards over here and then... I actually want to see this now. So if this goes here, and then this is junk data card, and then that could also be junk data card, could bring it down this way. Move this over here. We'll still count that we're removing it from the sushi belt. It's kind of a lot just to bring one item to a specific belt. And I'm not sure. The way we had it before, we could bring the junk data cards here without interrupting anything. If we did this, it'd have to come back up this way, which is fine. It's still a lot of splitters and undergrounds. It's not very elegant. We love Pasquetti. Maybe you need splitters to... Oh yeah. What is that? Spaghetti, yes. Old spaghetti. Well, that is one example of uh, what we could do with that. That's a lot of scrap. What's going on? We're not outputting contaminated cosmic water. That's contaminated bio sludge. Oh, this is contaminated by sludge. I just have to put this pipe here, I think. Yeah, we're good. And we've built up quite a bit of scrap already. If this goes full speed, 
1.6 scrap per second. Uh, contaminated scrap in particular, I'm interested. 7.86 scrap per second. Uh-oh. Contaminated scrap. Okay, we can easily deal with the contaminated scrap. That's good. Uh, but I'm actually concerned about the regular scrap once we start... Once we start producing this. 1.2 per second. Maybe we should have a scrap machine dedicated to these two. How fast does this go? Only one per second. We can improve that. 2.6 per second. That is enough. Let's see how much scrap per second the whole thing could be producing at top speed. Scrap. Uh, 9.6 per second and we can only deal with 2.6. Okay, that's worrying. Orange is fun. Yeah. The sushi system was supposed to make this easier. <laughs> it is not having that effect. But we're learning enough to design it better next time. Also going to have to do even more belt stuff to get the scrap away. I'm kind of tempted to just run a belt straight to the scrap machine, but no, we need another scrap machine. Um, on the other hand, I really would like the scrap to go over here. Okay. Maybe we could just... There's 294 scrap on the belt already. Although it is reducing surprisingly quickly. I thought we only had one machine dealing with scrap. Oh, this is stopped as well. I forgot to fix that. That seems okay. Oh, I know who I know how to do this. Uh okay, so we need heavy oil to be able to escape. Left just enough room as it is. I need another recycling facility. Uh heat shielding, concrete, steel. Heat, shielding, concrete, and steel. Cycle. And bring this up here. Type it over to... That's... That's... That's a little bit annoying. Can we just move these down a bit? Yeah, we can. Cool. Right, that's four tiles. Uh, we need an underground anyway. Doesn't quite fit. All right. So that'll be our heavy oil. And then... Can 
connect red wire first. Turn these around. It's trying to pick up the scrap. Oh, there it goes. And then... We could just... Kind of need a chest here. Is that going to get across? It is not. Oh, that's painful. Okay, how about this? That should be sufficient. And this will only be able to insert when we've got the appropriate uh, recipe. A Royal PS2K. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so now the amount of scrap that we can deal with relative to the theoretical maximum. Fantastic. And it's also touching all of the um, belts. Maybe I should just have at least two machines for any given thing. So it's picking up from all of the belts. It seems... Uh, It seems like not the kind of solution we should have to make, but okay. So I think we're just waiting on Iridium, and we need to get some lubricant over here as well. Lubricant is all the way back here, because it only goes to cosmic water at the moment. Um, I'd kind of like to make this one lubricant, if we can. We go over there. That's actually really tricky. Really tricky, actually. Okay. This is turning into hot spaghetti. Oh, that doesn't even fit. Okay, how about this? Alright, that's looking promising. That's actually perfect. For once. Lubricant go here. Lubricant go there. Not like that. That's slightly disappointing. I could move this over a little bit. That's a lot more sm uh, snug and symmetrical looking. A Majagus. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, almost a perfect fit. Okay. Could use a seven if that reached, which it does not. Well, it does reach, but there's already an underground there. I don't want to wake up, but work wants me to work. 
Unfortunate. Okay, so that's our lubricant. Now we just have to figure out how we're gonna... These don't have circuit conditions. That makes it nice and easy to move them. And then... That goes there. Looking good. Let's just use this one, shall we? Why doesn't that want to connect? This is lubricant input. Lubricant input. Wait, what? That... What? It, it might be because of this. Let's find out. It is. Okay. And now it doesn't want to go back. Are you kidding me? Will not fit. It clearly will fit. All right, have a bot do it. Cool. So now it is literally just iridium. I don't suppose that planet that we were looking at has iridium on it. It does not. We have to go back to Mars. But before we do, I would like to uh, take over the uranium planet. It's a small world, after all. 3.2 million iron, 2.4 million copper. We should be able to get core mining to... give us enough for anti-media ammo, in any case. Alright, time to start packing for that trip. And I would also like to, I do wish you could set multiple filters on uh, splitters, because I would like to put all of the sciences coming off of that belt. Um, but as it is, I think. Well, for now, if we just add this filter here. Split it. Like so. That'll be enough to prepare us for... What are we missing here? Utility signs. So that should be getting filled up over here. 87k. Fantastic. Alright, let's go colonize a new planet. But not before I leave my space pipe behind. And plenty of regular pipe as well. Anything else? Uh, contaminated scrap. Get out of my inventory, please. Cosmic water is an input. Uh, contaminated cosmic contaminated bio sludge. Yeah, okay, so that's all set up correctly, I think. I'll leave this here as well.
and all of this space belt. Got some scaffolding over here, I guess. Wait, what? Anything up? Oh, why do I have some satellite telemetry? Probably wasn't quite enough room to put it in here. Uh, are we not outputting? Okay. That should be fine. I must have turned that around um, at the start of when we were fixing the sushi belt after the ice cannon fiasco. Alright, cool. Get rid of this. We're still waiting. Some room to open up here. Get rid of the cargo rocket sections. I could just put the satellite telemetry... Where is it? Telemetry. Here we go. And that'll get put on the belt. With the correct count. Recycling facility. I guess I did have one already earlier on. Whoops. Uh, space assembly machine. Get in my storage. And the rest is okay, I think. Although... I may as well leave a lot of it up here. I can always get more downstairs. Don't bring that. Leave that. Don't really need the mining drills. Basic beacons can't be used in space. And... That's probably fine. Alright, let's head back. With our inserters. Uh, let's leave those here as well. Okay, nice to know all of that is fixed, and we've got a steady crawl of science packs. Um, both of these will get finished after the next rocket launch, but really we were only researching them um, for something to do and to demonstrate the automatic rocket launch system. Uh, so let's queue up triggers random zone discovery when researched. It doesn't sound very exciting for now. Astronomic science pack. Uh, better thermal radiators, not too excited about just yet. Aeroframe pole. I wonder what that opens up. Quite a lot, it would seem. Ooh. Oh, we need energy science packs as well. Hello. Jetpack 3. As soon as we get 
material science packs. We can get that done. Um, this is too many science packs. Sergey New Bay, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the follow. What should I research first with this uh, new but slow science pack? I guess we could tick off at least one of these. Oh, it only increases by one each time. Interesting. Let's do one just to see what it does. Uh, that is material. Yeah, it's really material science pack that we need. Okay. Uh, I think we need to make another cargo rocket silo because all of the ones that we built have... They're very much in use now. Although I could hijack this one, but then the bots would have to empty it. I think it's better if we just make another one. Telescope data analysis found a new planet. Morpheus. Is it in here? I guess the more zones we find... Um... The more we might find planets that we like. How do I check what solar system it's in? Is it in our solar system? Morpheus. Oh, we're auto-saving so often because we had crashes last time. But I think we resolved that. Let's bump it back to 10 minutes for now. Okay. I think I will... Is this one manual? I think... Yeah, it is. Let's copy-paste one of these. Maybe I'll keep it close so that we can use the deliberately kept mostly empty rocket fuel storage. I could move these around. Somewhere like this. Except then we need another roboport. That'll do. Alright. So what are we going to need to go to our new planet? Um, first thing is cargo rocket silo. And a landing pad. Uh, we'll want to take an extra bunch of cargo rocket sections. Maybe I should take more than a hundred? What, what do they take to build? Cargo pod. That's pretty basic. We could just take materials as well. We should be able to build a few if we need to. The 
planet should have parent entry at the top of the universe view. Obvious. Parent. Oh, there it is. Angulus. It's a different star. I suppose that makes sense. Since we're doing a telescope research to find it. Angulus. Oh, there it is. And there's Morpheus. Fantastic. Thanks, Simrock. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Morpheus, I was so confused since I just heard my name. Yes, indeed. There you are. Just floating in space. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again as well. Uh, let's connect up our rocket fuel. Guess we'll do it this way. Oh, that feels so much better, being able to do the underground pipes long like they're supposed to be. Why does that look weird? Okay, pipe. And there's our rocket fuel. Let's make sure it doesn't have any settings. Uh, where are we going again? Tolubai, I think. Let's just double check before we go to the wrong planet. Tolubai. This is indeed where we are going. So we're going to want uh, some core mining drills. Actually, can I turn this off for now until we get everything we need? Uh, core mining? Let's just make sure we send more than we need. And then uh, pulverizers. I want to make sure I send more than I need, but it might fill up relatively quickly. We'll see. Um, already carrying some amount of inserters. Uh, may as well get some more. Um, 100. That was quick. You're not auto-launching, are you? No. Stop. You're welcome. Good morning. Just a heads up. That's got to need a lot of fuel. That's fine. Fuel is... fuel. May as well research this, I guess. Oh, we can get the cryo gun. Well, we can research the cryo gun. And then, presumably, yeah, we can make glacier ammo when we get the materials. Let's do that. It's going to take a while. What's wrong with our 
Oh, I haven't turned it on yet. Um... Alright, well, let's start with that and see how much space we've got left over. That's going to be a lot of bot jobs. Wavy snake. I think I made a blueprint for this, but I don't remember where to find it. What else are we going to need on our new planet? Mining drills? Uh, some barrels of, well, actually, let me just make a control, I think it's control four we haven't used yet. Okay. Let's just make it so I can jump over here as immediately. Control four. Got to make sure I'm in combat gear when I land. Oh, we're definitely going to need some media defense installations. And turn this one off until this is filled. To defense. And quite a lot of ammo. Uh... Let's say 500 for now. A core miner, presumably? Yep, we're sending eight. Um, and we're going to do a whole lot of uh, resources. Oops. To make sure that we can rebuild whatever we need if critical things get destroyed on the way there. What else? Cogs, sure. Maybe not as many. We can turn solid rocket fuel into liquid rocket fuel, right? In fact, that's exactly what we use. So maybe we'll send solid rocket fuel. I'm sure we'll be able to set that up when we get there anyway. Bring some pump jacks, uh, chemical plants, refineries, uh, fuel refineries. Assembly machines, miners of the big variety. Not overly concerned about modules, I carry quite a few. We'll see if we end up having some space to fill. Power poles, absolutely. Make it a hundred. Uh, maybe some bots? Uh, 
I don't know, 50 logistic parts, 50 construction, repair packs. Fuel or stuff to make fuel to get back. Yep, we are requesting rocket fuel. Um, the reason I'm not turning all of these constant combinators on for now is I would like the rocket to be nice and organized. So once we get through these requests, I'll turn the others on. Although we seem to have run out of... Um, Express Underground belts. Yeah, we've actually run out. We're building them as fast as we can, but the bottleneck is... Cogs. Ironically, we need Express Underground belts to upgrade this stuff. Oh my lord. This is what happens when you forget to turn on your requests for a little while. I might have hesitated on that if I'd realized how many butt jobs it was going to make. Maybe I should have a chest to accumulate a buffer for cogs for this. For one thing, the stack inserters can insert them faster from chests as well. I think some of the, yep, some of the Logibots are stealing those to take them back over here. I'll grab some out of the rocket. And we'll increase our... What? What? No. Um, 50, please. All right, so that'll increase the flow of cogs to these by 50%. And it seems like it's now completely bottlenecked on the three stack inserters. Which is just a little bit slower than a blue machine for making these. Silly me stopping at 500 for blue underground belts. We could have had 2.4k accumulated if we really wanted to. Alright, what else? How is our Nova space actually doing? Oh, I forgot to patch this wall. Um, is it here? No. Oh, that's right. I did update this uh, blueprint to get rid of some of those accumulators. Let's line this up. Actually, I won't do that one automatically because it's going to add some stuff that we don't want. That doesn't look right. Oh, some of the... Yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, 
has a blueprint gone? Does this one work okay? Yes, except we need to tell it not to destroy the cliffs. And probably the same thing up here somewhere. Oh no. Okay, we're fine. Uh, okay, one moment please. And it stopped. No one should be calling that phone, it's actually just an emergency phone. <laughs> What are all of these wires doing here? But emergency? No, it's it's only for us calling out. What? Why is I'm confused by this how you say wire? Don't tell me I copy pasted that all the way down. Oh no. Okay, that's going to need fixing. Um, let's get started. But not before I finish the job of patching these uh, combinators. A less than 20, A greater than 99. Remove the accumulators. Whitelist. Okay. So from this point forward, no accumulators. And then we need to patch all of these to 20. Which we can do by running a blueprint. Like so. Just want to be careful at some specific spots that have a little bit of custom build, like not destroying this bit of cliff. We already covered that one. Uh, this one as well. And then I think the rest we can just run over like this. And that should be all of them. Okay. So let's pick a random one and have a look. A less than 20, accumulator is going to be deconstructed. Except until these accumulators get deconstructed, now some of these laser turrets are not getting powered. Okay. All good. Uh, one last thing, let's make sure all of these walls get upgraded. Why is there fog of war here? Um, why don't we add one more radar? That'll do. And the next thing to do is add some artillery. Wait, I did update the artillery one, right? Yeah, I did, I remember. Oh, right, that was the difference here. These are the spiky walls. Now that we've run that upgrade planner over them, that should be fine, though. And let's just double check somewhere kind of random that uh, we've got the right setting. Less than 20. Fantastic. Alright, cool. That means sooner or later we look back here we should see 
Oh, there's already artillery up here. We should see the biters cleared to here. Let's see how our loading process is going. On the way, 10. What? It should only be being picked up. Where is this coming from? Oh, did we finish loading this thing? Oh, we did. That's good. So now we are loading... Express... Uh, splitters. Here they come. And right at the last nanosecond, all the bots gave up and went to roboports hundreds of meters away. They were literally right on top of the requester chests, and they went back to these ports to recharge first. Okay, um, anything else to do while we wait for that to load? What is going on with our trains? Oh no. Probably has something to do with the biter attack from earlier. I think. There are missing signals over there though. Let's make sure we pick up whatever else we're supposed to be carrying. And that's not what we're carrying, okay. Wait, is that my bot? It is. Get in here. Robopot off. My guns are all messed up. Rocket launcher go here. Rocket go here. Actually, if anything, the rocket launcher should be at the end. Alright, what's happening with our trains? Is this why we had not enough trains earlier? We are at the point where we're getting some serious slowdown just by placing signals. Uh, you are trying to go over there, so that's not going to help you yet. Seems like all of these signals have been placed. Are you out of fuel? You are not out of fuel. You are not full of iron. Oh no. Yeah, I've said it before, but I really wish it was possible to add a wait till empty um, condition on the trains for the depots for LTN. Unfortunately, as far as I know, it'll just change it to five seconds of inactivity no matter what. I have looked at the settings to change that. Depot inactivity seconds. That seems to be the only setting that affects how LTN uh, sets the train's schedule when it gets back to the depot. Do the rest of these guys have nothing in there? Cargo wagons? Okay, seems like we're good. How's that new... Why are the trains not using my lovely new 
depot system. I'm pretty sure I checked and it was working at least. As soon as we get close to the base, we'll jump out. Where are you going? Oh, to the old Omni Smelter. Okay, let's grab some trains. Wait, did I set a depot priority somewhere? that was greater than one, uh, greater than zero, rather. Because if so, the trains would be prioritizing using that de I don't see any of them. Wait, all of the depots seem to be not in use except for fluid depots at the moment. Well, oh, here we go, here's one. We do not have a depot priority. Okay. I think we tried this earlier and the trains wouldn't actually... Um, ...change which depot they were using. When they were already doing their thing anyway. But I could have sworn I put some trains down here, sent them on their merry way. And... Would have expected them to come back here when they were done. If I got left five, okay. Depot. Go. I was going to copy that schedule. Depot. Copy, paste. Off you go. Yeah, see how even though there isn't a condition here, as soon as they get to the depot, they change the schedule on the depot to five seconds of inactivity. If I could only add a condition of the train has to be empty to that, definitely solve a lot of problems before they happen. To be fair, they haven't happened in quite a while. That was in the aftermath of the biter attack, but still. Hey, look at that. They decided there was too much traffic that way, so they turned around. Oh wow. That's kind of cool, I guess. It definitely shows that they can benefit from being able to leave in either direction. What is the name of the robots that build stuff from your inventory? Uh, construction bots. Construction robot. They're the same as the ones that build from RoboPods, but you just have to have them in your inventory and have a personal RoboPod. Okay, so we should... Uh, we should see some... Some trains coming back here, right? They are named Gary? Okie dokie. 
might take a moment before we see trains coming back to the depots. Alright, let's check on our rocket. Oh, there's no requests here. Let's go. So we've already loaded all of this stuff. No, we haven't. Cargo landing pad. Why is this... Oh, it's on the way. Okay, cool. Uh, cargo landing pad, core mining drills, pulverizers. Alright, there's still a few things to go, and the way this is set up, they won't request the next thing until... Really? How dare you? Why... Oh, I see. Okay, so now we're requesting the four mining drills. It's really not necessary that I set it up this way, but if I don't do that, uh, this inventory is going to look like pure chaos instead of just perfectly neatly organized. There's our drills, and a extra landing pad for good luck. And here come the pulverizers. Weird timing with the logistic bots bringing me copper. Okay, so once we have the pulverizers, I think that is everything from this uh, constant combinator. So, pretty decent timing. I'm still seeing no trains back here. What are you trying to do? You're trying to go up there. Are you stuck? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Phoenix87, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This is partly my fault. I sent too many trains back to the depots full of resources at the same time. And even though we've got storage enough for a full train um, at the depots to take the random items away from them, um, because we can't put that wait until empty condition, Uh, that's a problem. Um, Alright, what I might do is... The Hobo's Friend, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. And like so. And then we'll rebalance this with even distribution. And now we can actually start not having this full and blocking production. Let's check for some more stuck trains. You seem to be okay. You are waiting for the same station. You are waiting for the same station. Um, I think I put a train limit of one on this. I did, but I recently changed the stop timeout setting to like only an hour, I think. So because there was something wrong here, and because I was spending a whole lot of time up in space, LTN ended up sending like seven trains to this stop at the same time. Because it presumed them all dead, basically. There's so many trains that are stuck. Nope, you're actually fine. Okay, that's good. I think. 
Where are you trying to go? Here? What's your deal? You probably got sent here for the same reason I just described, even though the train limit is one. Uh, why are we destroying iron? We should not be destroying iron. Ah, okay. Where are you trying to go? Straight through here. This should definitely be a chain signal. Um... Can you maybe just go for a little drive and then go where you're going? So this system destroy... what? Did we run out of storage? Oh no. What is going on? Uh, we are missing... Nothing, actually? Delivery cannon capsule. Why is it not picking up the delivery cannon capsules? Did I turn this off or something? Oh, because the bots haven't stopped doing their thing. Okay, so that's working properly, but we somehow ended up with... A bunch of bots still in flight. Which uh, really shouldn't have happened, to be honest. I wish we could blacklist certain items in a storage chest. Alright, so that's still working, but why are we destroying iron? Um, I did set it up so that this iron pickup station, for example, is on encoded network ID 2. This should be on encoded network ID 1. So we will not get schedules where yeah, no, this is coming from Solid's pickup. Okay, that's good, at least, relatively speaking. Kind of surprised we're destroying iron, though, especially considering the storage space here. Let's send you back to base. And you are also trying to come down here. That's coal, really? Do we have infinite coal? Uh, yeah, we do. Okay. I guess we need to make room for coal. For coal mining. So this all seems to be okay now. Uh, this is fine. This is probably fine. Although, if anything, I'd like to send that coal back to the main base. But if I do too much of that all at once, we might have trouble. Anybody else? Uh, you are stuck at one of the old rail stops that we decommissioned when the biters attacked it, and it was an old version of our... Uh, old version of our Omni Smelter anyway. That doesn't look good. trying to go up here. This is full. This is probably uh, probably LTN sending extra trains because I, I, I think I will go back to where is it? 
Uh, delivery timeout. I set this to something crazy. Like, I think it's 10 hours. 36,000 seconds. As close as we can get to infinite. Um, because I'm pretty sure this is here because LTN sent multiple trains when it's only supposed to send one. How do you move train stop position in train schedules? You mean like this? Just click and drag from the uh, this section right here with the like dimply bit of the graphical user interface. Also, Mantifrey, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, okay, you're waiting for this station. You are stuck because apparently this... Okay, this was patched. This shouldn't have happened. Precise loader requires having... Unless you have giant chests... If you have, like, six chests like this, you have... need to have a little bit of extra. 200 stacks as opposed to 160 stacks should be more than enough. But because specific um, inserters are trying to insert to finish the job to load the train, we need to make sure there's extra before the train comes here. But we did set it up that way. So I don't know what the problem is here. I do wonder if it somehow has something to do with uh, the biter attack. If this works correctly, it's probably fine. So once this is almost full, we'll see some of these inserters, well, all except for one per cargo wagon, are going to switch off for the last uh, stack. Thank you for the follow, Mantifrag. And... Perfect. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. Same deal over here. So the whole point of this uh, precise loader circuit is to make sure the train, uh, the inserters don't end up sticking out after the, after the train leaves. We need to do this because we're loading multiple types of resource here. Unless we want to set it up so that we have less than six uh, stack inserters loading these things and we use uh, one inserter per cargo wagon to remove items that aren't supposed to be there. Not really my idea of a good time. Alright, what about... That looks like it's working. Everybody stuck over here. Where are you waiting? I quite like um I quite like the way we've sort of got built in stackers with this uh rail block system. As long as they don't end up waiting there too long. What's your problem? Why do you only have one point two oh, this is full. Okay, so you were sent here because of train timeouts. Um, do I want to just leave you here? No, I don't think so. Back to the depot with you. Let's make sure we're not getting too overloaded here. I want to make sure... Oh, that's dangerously close to happening. Okay, I should have um, added some circuitry or extra chests or something to make sure it doesn't end up like this, but 
if this inserter doesn't activate for five seconds, uh, this train is going to go pick up coal, assuming that, and, and it's going to assume that the cargo wagons are empty. That's how we get these problems. It's fine if just one train comes here. Um, I think. Probably this shouldn't go through this chest. Let's see. I'm pretty sure this was empty when this train arrived. Eight hundred and sixty-four. Yeah, that'll be fine. I think. Yeah, so that's not going to get blocked. Okay. There's still no trains at these depots. I think they are just going to the nearest depot after finishing. Except when I played with the priority depot system, I couldn't get the trains to change which depot they were using. Uh, I want to do a little experiment here. Depot priority. Anything greater than zero should be larger than the default. A uh, higher priority, that is. Oh, that didn't take long. Okay, so they can change uh, in the middle of the schedule. Well, at the end of the schedule. All right, how is our rocket looking? It's like half full. And we've finished all our requests. Let's see how much space uh, this stuff takes up. And this stuff, actually. A Zavoxifol. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's going to take a minute. Um, do we have artillery here yet? We don't have any more artillery here yet, really. We're definitely requesting it. Only one at a time. That laser turret's gonna die. Rip. The big electric pole doesn't get hurt if they're at a diagonal like that. That's good to know. Almost the Christmas break for me? Nice. How about things for you? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Um, what's our request threshold is 10. That's why we're not getting any artillery turrets. 10 is a little excessive, but it's fine. That should generate a delivery for artillery turrets. Any minute now. Output signals, negative 10 artillery. Are all of our small trains busy? No. Is this thing... It's stuck. Okay. I think I should come up with a better... Oh! 
Well, that should do it. Yep, now it's just waiting on a couple of laser turrets and a stack of flamethrower turrets. That's a lot. Where are you going with that? To the northwest wall? It's a little bit alarming. Uh, might be a good idea to add some artillery to this one, actually. Uh, whoops. Let's do that. I can find some artillery. I was going to copy paste this, but the request is all wrong. Where's our wall? There we go. Don't really need two of them here. And round about here. Requested chest. Well, we'll actually have to set the requests. Why don't I do it here first? Uh, artillery shell. Cut. And... Paste. There's the second one. There it is. Paste. And paste. And then we need to add some requests to this. Actually, I need to add a train station for the artillery. What is Christmas break? Oh no. We don't have enough bots. Um, how's our train loading go? Not train. Space train. How is our loading going here? Very slowly at the moment. We don't have bots. Why don't we have bots? They're actually both suffering from the same problem. We got no... Steel? Also no beacons for these ones. One, two, three, four, five, six... Can I maybe move this over a little bit? Two, three, four. Why is that going? Oh, I see. Whoops. Fifty's mm, fine. Just one stack of the slower ones. And then, can we fit one of these here? Not really. Also, the beacons don't actually matter at the moment. Steel is the problem. And it looks like it's a really big problem at the moment. Oh. Oh. Hello. When did you get disconnected? Alright, so we just found a train load of steel. The company graciously allows me to sit around for 
four days and not be an employee for you. <laughs> oh no. Uh, where are we going? So that'll be steel, that will be bots, that will get the train and the cargo rocket silo going again. Um, still good that we improved these. And I don't know why there are no bots rebuilding this. Seems kind of strange. We've definitely... Oh, because we've actually got no... Oh, that doesn't go there. Oh, now they've built it? No, here it is. Alright, there we go. So pretty soon we should see steel coming down this belt. There it is. And once it gets to these uh, flying robot frame machines, we'll have bots again. Still quite slowly. Okay. I guess while we're waiting for that, I'll go add a artillery shell drop off at our northwest wall. Watching T Hex on second monitor helps though. Thank you, I think. Well, I do think. Um, happy to mitigate your distress, I guess, at this special time of year. Uh, we don't really need this bit of rail for now, I don't think. Actually, none of that, please. Don't know why I'm not carrying rail right now. Oh, that's why. It's going to make it difficult to build a new station if I have no rail. Oh, the bots are bringing me rail from here. That's great. Fantastic. All right. Uh, let's do it like this. Can I move this a little bit? Yep. And... Regular train stop, I think it was. Oh, that's the wrong one. Yep, regular train stop called Artillery Shell Drop-Off. And we just dump that into... Bubble Chests. Uh, but the trick is to read from the logistic network to see how much stuff we want. Artillery shell less than 100. It's just reading directly from that. You can ignore the rest of those circuits. Um, this is read network contents already. Good. It's not attached to anything else, is it? Doesn't look like... Minus 4.3k. Yes, it definitely is. Okay. We'll do a red wire from here. And that'll be that. And then... Why, why do we have so many shells in transit here? There should be like three... I think I set the requests on these chests to one. Where are they going?
Yeah, they're literally sent to one. Let me check the green chests. We did not include artillery shells in... Oh, they're going to storage chests, of course. I dope. Because I made those other ones purple. I could make them red. But I think it's fine to spread them out across the storage chests. And lastly, we need to request a few... Just want to double check the way I've got this set up. Each greater than negative 50, each less than negative 50. Um, okay, so we have to request at least 50. Uh... This seems a bit convoluted. Can't remember the way I was doing this. Where does this green wire go? What? Why is this? Oh, because this was set up different and then it got destroyed. Okay. Alright. Let's pay these guys a quick visit. Any more Space Marine Biters? Not that I know of. Not that I know of. I do fear their return. In fact, I fear their return enough that I'm considering maybe not deconstructing old walls in future. Unless they're on top of a copper mine, for example. Like this one. We also deconstructed. And this one still has turrets. Although it's only flame turrets and gun turrets that have no ammo. Whoops. Um, anyway. I'm trying to figure out how to request 10 uh, turrets. And I think I set this up so that... Okay, so the, here are the main sets of requests. This goes nowhere, except here. Each less than zero output each input count. Okay, so we're not accidentally telling LTN we've got stuff to pick up here. Each less than or equal to negative 50 output each. What's this one? Each greater than negative 50, output each one. Times negative 50. Oh, okay, so... Automatically, if we're asking for less than 50 of something, we bump it up to 50. So, if I set this to 1, we ask for 50 turrets. <laughs> that seems reasonable. Um, I don't think we even have 50 turrets in the logistic network at any one time. I can't remember where I automated them. Uh, rate calculator could maybe give us a hint. Is it on the left side of the base? It is. Okay. We're getting warmer. Don't know why your biters are so tough. You got any biter mods? Nope. Maholic. No biter mods. Um, just space exploration and practically nothing else. Except for like quality of life stuff. 
and it's only once that we've seen these giant biters. Maybe I angered the spirit of the planet with too much core mining or something. Maybe there's actually a giant biter in the middle of the core. And like a certain... Uh, Lovecraftian lore. Where is... Where am I making the turrets? Okay. Hint number two. Is it below this line? It is not. Okay. So is it here somewhere? It is. Somewhere around here, probably. There it is. Okay, we have... Why do we have 412 artillery turrets? <laughs> um, that may be a little excessive, but sure, fine. At least it means we've got enough. So then why isn't LTN bringing any artillery turrets here? Unless it did so while we weren't looking. Maybe it was because there's already a train on the way. Nope. Core mining biters? Yeah. Oh, here it comes. I think this is our train. It's not bringing artillery turrets. It's going to a different station. This one? You are still not bringing artillery turrets. How dare you. Also, these still have an out-of-date uh, condition on the burner inserters. Let's go fix that. That's going to be a lot of clicks. Why don't we copy it like this, make it a little bit easier. And copy like so, and like so, and then like this, like this, like this. This keeps going on longer than I thought. Should have done a longer... Copy paste. All right, so now the gun turrets will actually work. Up here, anyway. Space exploration has so many logic gates, I swear it's why alien civilizations never spread to all the universe. No one understands how anything is made any anymore. I think there are some sci-fi's about that. Uh yeah, there's the um Foundation series with uh decaying empire that had spread to cover the entire galaxy but they'd actually forgotten how to build things by the time it was in decay. Okay, that goes there. And... Wait, what? Ah, 
I'm so confused. There we go. Alright, so have all these got ammo now? Yep, let's copy that. Um, except we're copying the artillery. Let's... Ah, uh, fine. Let's copy the artillery. Why not? Put this... Uh, here. And we're accidentally copying wires as well. That's going to mess things up. Great. And there we go. And let's go fix the wires. If only we could see where they are wrong. I think it's this one. Yep. Two more, I think. Uh, yeah, that'll do it. I think that's right. My playthrough of this mod, I was spending a while trying to work out what I had done. <laughs> nice. As long as we are not forced to listen to Vogan poetry, we should be fine. Well, you never know. You seem a true engineer, though, getting these very unique solutions and scaling them. Thank you. Uh, never actually had the privilege of an engineering education. Alright, so... Oh, excuse me. That should be artillery set up down here. Uh, suddenly we've got a lot of bot activity delivering ammo, so we know that we know we set up that correctly for now. Uh, where are our artilleries? Are you bringing artillery? You are not. Is this the same train from before? Yeah, I think think it is. Although I think we are actually lacking robot ports. Every time I check on this thing thinking it's broken, it turns out there's some resource that we're actually waiting on. I would still like to redesign this thing and do better. Um, probably could do so by just deliberately setting requests for the chests over here. Instead of all of this set request stuff, just do it manually. We could probably set it up so that all the chests have the same things. Uh, use set stack size to try to put in the right amount and just go over and have the filter inserter remove the extras. And that way we get up to 11 chests uh, entering things and holding appropriate items. Probably 10 would be a better number, because you'll often get the stack sizes exact. How many different types of items are we requesting here? Almost 40. Um, but we can have 40 different items in a chest, and we can do 40 requests. Uh, 
So that might be a lot better than dynamically setting the requests on these things. Hmm. Alright, let's give it a go. Unless it's... Can I click this? Okay, there's no artillery there. I might just go and get the artillery real quick. Alright, first of all, grab artillery. Second, let's redesign this loading station. Uh, it does work, but I have not liked it for a while. For a f couple of reasons. Here's our artillery. And I guess this will prevent the train from having to bring 50 artillery turrets. Let's just drop them off here. What? Oh, there they are. I see construction bot took one of them, so that's going to get built immediately. Uh, I guess it decided to build this one first. Once it takes a break. Why aren't you... Oh, these guys are queuing already. A cryo gun, because why not? Yeah, what's wrong with the cryo gun? It's really good. Okay, I'm actually kind of amazed at how long it's taking to get this one artillery turret built. I know there's a lot of bots in the air and not that many const... Uh, what? How many artillery turret ghosts are you going to run past? Was your first instinct to build the artillery turret that's furthest from... Uh, f furthest from the place that you picked it up from? Nothing, I just saw the research. Yeah, well, I, it, it's because we can at this point. I think a lot of green behemoths... A lot of green behemoths after watching Ep 60 VOD. Oh yeah, there's uh, plenty in most places. Like, we have to go beyond the pollution cloud to find not behemoths, pretty much, for the most part. Do we have any artillery here yet? There's one, but oh, there it goes. Finally. Quadrakill and the worms. Fantastic. Okay. Let's get back to base. Uh, maybe redesign the station. Depends how full our rocket is. I think in future I'm going to make artillery part of my big walls as standard. Where am I going? Oh. Hello. Sorry to bother you. Okay, our rocket is loading. That's not our rocket. Yellow science rocket is pretty full though. Uh, so this is finished loading for now. That's actually... Is that really everything? 
No, there should be intermediate products. So why are the requests... Oh. They're not empty, they're just asking for... a handful of construction bots. There we go. Alright, so in that case... Let's deconstruct all this. Maybe keep that part. And... Uh, we're not going to do some dynamic requests. Six chests might be enough. Probably is, actually. Uh, read contents, sure. And feed that to LTN. And requests are gonna be... I probably shouldn't have destroyed those... Combinators. Let's grab this. I'll disconnect this for a moment. Why am I... In Why is my inventory full of steam turbines? That... That's quite confusing. Um... Okay. Disconnect this from LTN for the moment. Uh... Connect these... Set requests. Uh, change these back to read contents. And how many stacks do we end up with here? Probably too many. Let's do... So this is 30 things. And we're doing... One stack for most of these things. That's way too many. That's too many. That's too many. Uh, that's probably too many. So one, two, three, four... Hold on. One extra stack. Uh, we don't... Well, I'll leave it there for now. Uh, two, three, four extra stacks? Does spiked steel wall stack to 50? I think it does. Oh yeah, no, it this stacks to 100. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, Eight extra stacks if we do the four hundred uh, the two hundred laser turrets. I think this is fine actually. Oh, I forgot we were using this as a drop off a uh, pickup for building the nuclear stuff as well. I think we should just build that somewhere else. To be honest. Like have a different station for it. Or we could just have different uh, chests for it over here. We'll see how many spare stacks there are. We should bear in mind as well that some of these things are going to get overfilled. Uh, let's deconstruct this first. Get rid of our whatever random extra stuff is here. And then once they are empty, we'll undo. In 
inventory is full. All right, can do. And then I think we keep the logic we have over here for setting what the train puts in. Uh, what gets put in the train, rather. And the opposite of that. Which time is negative one? Set filters whitelist. Stack size one. Yeah, that's already correct, I think. Okay, so what is this train asking for? 50 big electric poles. If I put some extra in, that does get removed. Perfect. Now the question is, are these chests going to get overfilled at all? I also have a mind to... We'll, put, we'll connect both red and green wires to this other stack filter inserter, but it's going to be accessing a completely different set of resources. So this will be nuclear stuff. And... How many are in that blueprint? That's the wrong one. Uh, 112, so let's say 150, 200 of those. Steam turbines. And how much? 504? It just had to be 504. Okay, fine. We'll see how full this chest gets as well. That'll be three stacks. Uh, that's 20. 23, 24. Plus 10, 11. 35. There's five stacks left. Uh, we've already got the power poles from the other inserters. What am I doing? Solar panels and accumulators. Uh, the storage, I think. Fluid storage, yes, good. Pipes. Uh, Energizer 4, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Power switches, combinators. I think we need yellow inserters. Yep. And landfill. And pumps. Offshore pumps. And I think we've already got lights. Yellow, green, blue. Uh, we need purple chests. What have we got? Like 12 inventory slots left for this one? I think it's going to be fine. Purple... Didn't think that would work. Uh, active provider chest. Uh, offshore pump. I 
I guess we could request a few more pipes over here. Offshore pump. And... Uh, check, 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 check. Yellow inserter. Landfill. That's it. Probably do like 10 stacks of landfill. Uh, so this is 23, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, this would be 39 if it's 10 more stacks, which leaves us with 9. That's slightly too much. We either have to accept that we're not taking that much um, heat pipe or landfill in one go. Also, this is we're aiming for 48 stacks here, but the train can only carry 40, so no reason to worry too much about it. Uh, so 450, that should be fine. Actually, we should remove these. That's two more. One K landfill will not be enough. It's six point five K. Wow. Maybe I should add another chest just for landfill. That actually doesn't seem like a bad idea at all. No point adding any more because um, the train can only carry so much. And we don't need this anymore. Oh, I forgot gates. Wait, no, I copy. I, I, I copied this using set requests. So that's fine. Alright. We also need to make sure we read the contents of these. And feed all of that back to LTN. And what is this train still doing here? It's waiting for construction bots. Hmm. Why do we not have any, still? Uh, let's bump up the UPS a bit. There we go. What are we bottlenecking on here? Green circuits and... Oh! Whoops. Uh, my bad. <laughs> Served service. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And I seem to be lacking red underground belts again. Maybe I'll handcraft some. There we go. Where are you going with that? Oh, that's another reason we don't have that many bots, because these use flying robot frames. Why are you not picking up... 
Oh, because I set this thing here to prioritize the science. Okay, forget about that for now, please. Um, just stop reading that. Wait, that's not gonna help. Uh, just go no condition on these two. Why? What? Oh, it's got logistic network. If logistic bot greater than construction bot, which it should be, I see one and zero. Hmm. All right, can you just not have that condition though? Not sure why that was a thing. I mean, I'm not sure why it was working. I understand why I put it there earlier. I think, in fact, I will super prioritize the bots. Um, playing robot frame has to be full for this to pass through. Okay, so what are we bottlenecked on now? Batteries? What's wrong with batteries? Fluid. I just saw fluid move. There's no sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is... Actually chugging along at full speed. We've just greatly outgrown... the two machines. So we're actually using more than 50, uh, more than 49 per second sulfuric acid. Uh, let's dig into our reserves for now. What I could do if I really want to is set up a timer. Uh, let's see. Constant combinator. And decider. Pass it to the inserters. While battery is less than, let's say, one hour. So 60 over 60 over 60. Hours to minutes to ticks. No, to seconds to ticks. Uh, 60 over 60 over 60. Yeah, divide by 60 four times. Hold on. Ticks times seconds times minutes. Uh, times hours? What am I doing? If we want one hour... If we want a minute, it's uh, times 60, times 60. 60 ticks times 60 is a minute. Times 60 is an hour. 216,000. Why is that not a familiar number? 
I feel like it should be 3600 or 1000 or something. Sixty ticks is one second. Time sixty is a minute. Time sixty is an hour. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's say three hundred sixteen thousand. If it's uh less than that, output battery. And then each times one output each. Freaking base 60 system, yeah. Everything should be base 10. What if you don't have 10 fingers? Okay, battery. So pretty quickly, the condition will be met that we've, we think we've got more than 2,000 batteries. Um... And that will continue to output until an hour is passed. And then we'll go back to storing a couple of thousand batteries in each chest. 60 much better than 10 to BH, divisible by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Uh, let's see how our loading system does on the next train. Well, we've run out of robots. But, yeah, this actually seems much more reliable. Is this... How much have we got of each thing here? 200, 550, 800. Oh, there's too much... Uh, too much landfill here, but that's okay. I actually only want this one to enter the remainder of the landfill. But it's not like we can make it only go last. Well, we can, but then we have to disconnect this red wire. We could add another one of these that is only connected to this green wire and then this chest contains nothing but landfill and then we can remove the landfill from here whoops that should work Someone made a base 10 time system? Uh, the way that melts my brain is pretty indicative of how... It's mostly about how we just get used to it. Okay. I wonder if I've set something up wrong that we're sending so many bots out. Oh, wow. That didn't take as long as I thought it would to clear out the biters, even though we're still setting up our artillery properly. It seems like we don't have inserters over here of the blue variety. Yeah, we're not requesting them. Can fix that pretty quickly. Uh, blue inserter. Well, I can set that to 1 and it'll bump it up to 50. That's actually not the worst system. Obviously unimplementable, but there is like, let's say 100 hours in a day, made of 100 seconds, but they obviously have different time values. Probably have different names, yeah. Is 
so what are we still loading here? Oh. Why are... Why is there something 197 iron gear wheel? Oh, there it goes. Okay, we just switched over to green circuits. And we've got three types of circuits. Guns, ammo, rocket fuel, repair packs left to go. I dare say we're still going to have a bunch of inventory... Uh, space left over here. I should probably bring some chests. We'll... Oh, nope. Um, we'll add those over here. And how about some rail? Or did I already do that? I don't think I did. A thousand's actually not that much, but we'll see how much space we've got. If anything, we might end up manufacturing it over there. I guess we should bring some trains as well. We could probably just make them. Instead of spending extra stacks on them. We've already got raw materials. Uh, probably should remember to bring stone, although... That's not going to be a problem to get down here, right? 405k stone right here. Uh, some furnaces, perhaps? How many furnaces do we use in our newest iteration of the Omni Smelter? Only 36. That's good. Let's ask for 80. We'll run out of um, modules, but that's okay. Waiting on roboports. There are roboports here. I really... Yeah... I wonder if I should rewire this so that we don't worry about precisely loading it in the f Why are you taking 50, though? Must be going up to this place again. Yeah, the requests generated by this system seem a bit excessive. But I'm sure they'll stop. Oh, that's the trash train. Thank goodness for that. Okay. Are we still destroying iron? Yes. That feels very weird. It suggests that maybe... Things didn't work out the way we planned. Oh no, not this again. Okay, let's go pay him a visit. Is it this one? Nope. Well, it's also this one, actually. Oh. 
How does this keep happening? Oh, provide stack threshold is not set high enough, that's why. I think 180 is probably more than enough. I'm surprised it didn't happen sooner though. I was under the impression this was working for a long time. A stone. And what are you waiting for now? Oh, there's actually a little bit of stone missing. How's the rest of our train system going? Really? I... I've fixed this so many times, and every time I fix it, I watch the next two or ten trains come in. And it's working perfectly, and then eventually this happens. Hold up, how did that... Oh, I think this train came here with something in it. I think that's the problem. Maybe. No, oh, it's only got copper plate in it. I mean, one solution would be just to only have four chests, uh, one for each cargo wagon. Come on, bots. Alright, how's our rocket going? We're up to blue circuits. Fantastic. And we still have... Uh... I actually can't tell. Is there anywhere this is connected to... Oh, here we go. Uh, we're actually half full. Hey, Mucky. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright. So that's looking pretty good. And that's looking... Mostly pretty good. It's not counting... Oh no, there it is. I was going to say, it's not counting ghosts as um, having artillery range, surely. We all watching the same people, or what? Uh, what do you mean? And there it is, the obligatory successful train load. After I come and fix this thing. And I didn't actually change anything. I see Mucky in all the other streams. Yeah, Mucky gets around. Okay. That actually mostly pushes them outside of the pollution cloud too. Oh, and if we want to, we could reach all the way up here. That's pretty huge. Okay, back to base for now.
we are just waiting on like 900 blue circuits. Um, I don't know what else I want to bring if this ends up being nowhere near full. Let's check on orbit. I see these operating. We're probably... Everything is probably still going smoothly. If we're consuming cold thermofluid, it suggests to me that the uh, research is continuing. Yep, looks pretty good. Little by little. So let's see, we updated our northwest wall. We updated our west wall. Oh, that doesn't look good. Actually, that's nowhere near as bad as I thought. Uh, we fixed the local... Well, we completely redid the local variety train loading system. We do not have a lot of ammo. Okay, yeah, I was a little bit afraid of that. We could end up having inventory problems in these chests because of bots putting a little bit extra in of one resource or another. I wonder what the universe standard time is. Not human, invented time? Uh, it w wouldn't it have to be arbitrary? There could be something less arbitrary than other things, like maybe it could be based on pulsars or something. I hear time is relative. Hmm. Oh, also... Get, get out of my inventory, heat pipe, etc. We're probably the only creative enough to do base 60. Uh, I don't know. What should we do while we wait for the rocket to load? I have a few things in mind that I want. Once again, we have no trains using the new depot for some reason. Even after I went and made it priority. Why do they hate my new depot? And why are you still here? I left this uh, same train here ages ago. I get that that train was there because of the timeout, because the biters break things, but that shouldn't have happened. We left a we left a space of like two thousand iron ore to prevent overloading there and it still happened even without uh, uh, even without a train being assumed missing apparently should probably deconstruct that. This is fine. Storage go burr. This is not fine. Alright, let's pay him a visit. 
They tried to come up with a universal time unit, hasn't really bore any fruit. I guess that's not too surprising. So we set the request stack threshold to well over a train load. And we still had this problem. I don't know, I might have to give up on using these precise loaders like this because... Well, hang on, why do we never have this problem at this station? It's using the same logic. Every once in a while a train gets stuck at a station like this because the inserters are sticking out. Uh, and I come and investigate it and I just take the items away from the inserters, put the stuff in the train, off it goes. And then I watch the next few trains come and go and they get loaded perfectly. Stack size of one would probably address that, but it's slow. Yeah. You'd need not only a stack size of one, but only one inserter per cargo wagon to do it that way. Uh, what this does is automatically sets the stack sizes. At first, for all 24 um, uh, inserters, and then for only one inserter per cargo wagon. So once this gets close to full... Oh, that was very quick. Uh, once it gets close to full, it becomes relevant. Um, we're dividing the total amount that still has to go into the train by 24, uh, outputting S for stack size. Then we get the remainder of that and do the same thing again, divided by 4. And the divided by four only goes to these four inserters here. So stack size is still eight. Five, one. Oh, and we effectively set the stack size to zero by setting the filters. That also prevents putting things in from the wrong side. Looks like it loaded eight each time, until the last swing, yeah. Right, but if they are mid-rotation when the stack size changes, they'll break? Um, they're always in sync. We should see another demonstration quite soon. if we know which train is coming here. Missed one over here. Here we d go, yes. All right, so copper. Uh, one of the nice little bonuses as well is once it gets low enough that these stack inserters, like most of them, drop below the maximum stack size, the remainder gets put onto the one stack inserter per cargo wagon. And what usually happens, and what does happen with a full train with this stack size, is it doesn't need one extra uh, swing with just the remainders because it puts the extra little bit in on that last swing. Do all the chests all perfectly balanced? Looks like they do. Yep, so what we've got here, I mean it's very close to perfect. Um, we are using filter inserters with a blacklist and we're doing uh, each divided by negative 24 output each, we get the 
negative average of what's in all of these chests for each separate item. Um, we put the negative average onto this green wire and we get the positive of what's in each chest from the red wire. So implicitly it'll do arith uh, addition and subtraction. Um, and when we set a filter, if we have a negative number, the filter does not appear. So what this gives us is if we are above average, we will have a positive value for the total of what's in the chest minus the negative average. Uh, so if that is positive, we're above average for that type of item. Therefore, it'll add the item to the blacklist and we won't pick it up. It's very mesmerizing. Yeah, I like it. One thing I would like to add, though, um, which I was able to do, I think, when there were only two types of items, but I don't know how I'd do it here. I, I don't know how important this is, but I would like to be able to set it so that we don't completely fill these chests. Like, if we could limit... Uh, we can do seven train loads, and we've got four types of items up here. If we could limit each to one train load, or like... What? I was going to say one and a half... That would be perfect, actually. Uh, if we could limit each chest to... 3,000, I think it is. Well, no, that would be the total between the four items. Y you get the idea. I'm not sure how you would smuggle in that extra logic, given the wires and signals that we already have. Yeah. As always, after I come and fix it, it just keeps working, leaving no hint as to how it sometimes stops. The artillery is still doing its thing. Alright. And let's remove this one as well. I'll need to make these Vulcanite block stations pickups. How it doesn't back up with inserters not being able to pick up what they currently need? What? Oh, do you mean like... I'm not entirely sure what you mean, but I think I can answer it regardless. Uh, so the... The provide stack threshold. This is how many stacks of a resource we have before LTN will create a schedule to pick this up. Uh, 160 is a full train with four cargo wagons. I set this a little higher because... When we have the item spread over 24 chests and we have a precise loading system like this where we're putting a little bit extra in from one chest out of every six, uh, we want to make sure we've got a little, little bit extra. Otherwise, this one might end up not having some resources. Nyron Wolf, thank you very much for the host. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, but other than that, we are keeping each resource uh, balanced in each of these chests. You can see on the right, the numbers uh, barely change from one chest to the next. And a lot of that's just down to not limiting the stack size of the filter inserters to one.
could be some bug with Factorio engine on tick one versus tick zero. I don't know. I think it might be something like, well, I was going to say maybe I'm not, not setting this higher enough and it's kind of a rare case because of that. But I think over here, I set these to 200 and we still had that happen occasionally. But then again, I don't know if it was a domino effect from the biter attack somehow as well. All right, now that all of that is working, let's check on our rocket. That's a lot of bots in flight. 17. We're quite low on how many more blue circuits we're looking for. Um, so that'll just leave... Rocket fuel and repair packs are really easy. 500 ammo for the big guns. 12 big guns and... And then we need to decide what to do with the rest of our stacks. I should probably bring solar panels, right? I haven't turned this one on yet. Let's bring the good stuff. Flat solar panel. How many do I have, actually? Um, I think they're all down here. Uh, why do you have blacklist? Oh, that makes sense, actually. Okay, so we have 243 flat solar panels. Let's take 240. I think they only stacked to 20, though. So that would be, um... 12 stacks. That's fine. Let's get some accumulators. Not sure how many. Accumulators, if the night-day circle is off. Yeah, let's have a look. Uh, solar is 98%. Day-night cycle is 12.93 minutes. Nervous is considerably shorter. Does the sunset and sunrise last for longer? If the day-night cycle is longer? Yeah. So it'll come out to about the same, right? Although, it could take more accumulators to get through the night. Does it, does it actually change the ratio? Accumulators will need to last longer. Yeah. Also, uh, Trinor. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Missing Walnuts. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well as well. Longer downtime. Yeah. Hmm. Just 14 blue circuits to go. And thank you for the follow. Uh, Trinor. Needs less panels, more storage. Okay. So let's maybe get a few more of these. We'll see... Uh, I don't know, let's make this a thousand and see how we go. We've got a lot of inventory space still to go. The moment this changes over from blue circuits, I'm going to turn 
this combinator on. I could just uh, give it a hand. One to go. And here it comes. Fantastic. We've got a rail block here just waiting to be used. Um, what was something that I wanted to produce at scale that I haven't done yet? Red circuits, probably. Blue circuits. We could do both in the same spot, maybe. Was there something else? I could work on building that new mall. Bring a nuclear facility up there. That's a great idea. Absolutely. Um, I'll wait until this is done just so everything is in order. Nuclear. I think it's eight. Well, could make it ten just to make sure. Round it up to one stack. Uh, not too worried about the regular solar panels. Roboports, are we requesting those? Yes, yes we are. Um, 150, 200. And heat pipe where is it All right 50 what else landfill uh we could make the landfill there i guess we'll see if there's room at the end Offshore pumps we can make from the stacks of stuff we're already sending. Um, lights I'm not too worried about. I think we're sending some anyway. No, no we're not. Oh, I have a stack on me. That's fine. Pipe. Sort of... Yeah, the rest should be okay already. Maybe some more pipe and stuff. How many of these do we need? 96 for one of these builds. Maybe I should do two of them. We'll see how much space we end up having left over. Um, a lot of that stuff we can just make on the spot, actually. I'll get rid of those ones. Okay, that's close enough, I think. I think you talked about making a red circuit and blue circuit block. Yeah. And that way we can avoid some of the train logistics. Gonna need a lot more blue belt than we're able to take, probably. We'll see. Um, I might just set up a announcer here.
So I need to wait for it to actually get here. Are those rocket parts only singles, or are they the five stack? Oh yeah. Oh, um... No, that that is a good point, actually. We can... We can save a lot of space here. Let's get rid of this. And... We'll stack it to five. It's going to mess up our lovely, clean... Uh, build here a little bit, but... Actually, by the time this is removed, maybe... There we go. So blue chests are going to start up here, but other than that, it's still going to be pretty neat. Sorry, lol. No, I'm glad. That gives us a lot more inventory space. Uh, so stack... Where is it? Cargo rocket section packed. So these are fivers, aren't they? So we just need 20 of them? Assuming we don't lose any, but if we do, we can deal with it. Did you pack any launch pads for the new planet? Yes. Uh, just the one. For now. All right, what else? I'll definitely keep this one, or I'll, I'll at least keep a copy of these constant combinators. Um, we'll refine our list of stuff to pack as we visit other planets. Should have done that a while ago. Okay, so if... Everything equals zero. Um, I'm conflicted about turning on the global playback. That'll do. Because I need to turn on the alert sounds, which is going to include way more alerts than we need that things are getting destroyed, especially with this stuff. I'm pretty sure it makes a, an alert sound for that. Once this is full, the bots go back. Once the bots go back, we launch um, cannons. I'm still trying to think of a perfect way to... Where's our iron? There it is. Oh, there's iron plate. Yeah, this is not full. So why is... Why are we getting some iron over here? Oh, we're not right now. Okay, good. Um, still trying to think of a perfect way to... Continuously take this stuff away and throw it away if necessary, but also mine from actual mines and never waste any extra. Alright, that all seems to be working. Cool. Where are we now? On to signals. Going to first new planet? Uh, not quite. We've been to Mars, which is our closest neighbor, and there's no threat, no biters here. Um, literally just an entire planet to ourselves. Uh, apart from the meteors, there's nothing to worry about. There's two new resources there, Cryonite and Iridite. 
But what I didn't account for was just how small the planet would be and just how finite the resources would be. Um, I took a bunch of stuff to set up. We literally mined all the uranium on this planet and it did not get Coverix started. Um, so we ended up abandoning this place for now. We did come back with 50,000 cryonite rods, though. So that's cool. Use productivity modules, helps with finite resources. Yeah, of course. Uh, so yeah, we're going for a more... Shall we say, reliable... Um, kit. Let's go a couple of stacks of fuel. Even though I'm sure we'll be able to arrange that on site. The whole point of getting this planet is infinite uranium. Failed venture? Yeah. Rip in pepperonis. Also... I think we might be running out of uranium-238 over here. Um, I did set up a new uranium system here. Oh. Okay, let's go fix that. And I'm back to the age-old question of, is there a good way to... There's actually not that much uranium-238 here, 1.5k. What the hell? We've got it saturated with 235. Um, where's our uranium? What's going on here? 5,000. Why did it stop? There's no sulfuric acid. Oh, no. Um, I think we really need to add some sulfur. Uh-oh, there's those alerts that I was talking about earlier. In any case... Uh, this should have a wire. Oh, and we also need to set up a circuit to load in the different resources. Um, so again, it's very important, if we're doing it like this, that we don't end up with an inserter sticking out uh, when the job is done. Otherwise, a train could come for the other resource, and it'll immediately have that resource added to it. So what we're doing here is... Set filters just lets us set a stack size to zero. Um, also filter which resource this is. Set stack size S. Red wire touches all of these inserters. Green wire touches just one for each cargo wagon. One, two, three, four. We get from the logistic train stop output uh, minus what's in the train already. So this will tell us what the train is asking for, and then we subtract from that what's already in it. Each times negative one, output each. Uh, we also need to add something to remove unwanted signals from here. Oh my goodness. We're fine. Uh, so we have a decider combinator, each greater than zero output 
each. And we add to that a constant combinator. Uh, let's make that green, actually. So that is red. Goes here. Uh, here we just put a big negative number for the signals that we need to get rid of. Which is two different kinds of encoded positions of locomotive for some reason. And same thing for cargo wagon. Uh, once we've got the amount that we still need to put in the train. Then we can start dividing. Each divided by 24, the number of chests. Output each. Same thing, output S for stack size as well. And this is going to go to every inserter. Once we've done that, we get the remainder of each divided by 24. And then we do the same thing again, but it's divided by four cargo wagons. And instead of a red wire, it's going to be green. So that's our remainder going here. And then we divide the remainder by four. And that will go to our four inserters. Uh, if we're not going to do... If we're not going to assume that we have a multiple of four that the train is asking for, we need to add even more combinators. Uh, we can avoid that by just making sure that we're asking for a full train load. And that's how that works. But meanwhile, we'll actually have to get uh, uranium flowing again for this to be relevant. So for that, we need sulfuric acid to be considerably faster than it is in our main base. Uh, we could spaghetti something together, or we could just... Now that I think about it, 199k? What? Oh, that makes sense. Oh, I see what's happening here. We've got a provide stack threshold, but not a provide threshold. So... When it comes to fluids, there are no stacks. We need to add something here. Provide threshold... 100... Okay. And that should create a schedule here pretty soon. Assuming there are any trains in the depots right now. Let's have a look. Yes, there are. Oh, we need a fluid wagon, though. There's always plenty of fluid wagons, so what's the holdup? They've definitely got the 199,000 sulfuric acid signal. Oh! I think I know the answer. Because... That might have been unnecessary... Let me think about this real quick. Or we'll check these out. So these are set up the same way. Okay. Scratch that. I'm going to remove this signal for now. And I think the problem here may be that... We're asking for exactly the same amount of fluid as we're requesting. I mean, the 
request threshold here is the same as what we're asking for, but we never completely drain the uh, fluid is the problem. I could change this or to test our theory. I don't know how effective this is going to be. Uh, we'll move this over. Add a pump. That doesn't really work. Okay, will this actually drain enough? No, it won't. Good to know. All right, in that case, uh, let's set our request threshold. Uh, let's set our amount that we're asking for to a little bit more. Uh, how much fluid have we actually got here? Surely not a thousand. Yep, there it goes. There's your problem. And it is going to pick up from here, actually. That's actually the old sulfur that we're removing from an old mine. So I still don't know if... Wait, why is it only bringing 45k? I mean, it's good that we got rid of this, but... Okay. Provide threshold is 1. Request threshold is 100k. That should not have brought a 45k train, should it? Uranium is nice and all, but where are them nukes? Uh, nukes are in the chat. Hey, Immo. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Nuke Guy TV. Welcome, welcome. Do you need the request threshold as well? How much is one wagon? Uh, four wagons is 100k. It's 25k. A wagon is the same as one of these uh, storage tanks. And and then why are we not mining? Did I? Oh, I messed this up. Okay. There we go. Okay, but, um, okay, how much have we got here? Let's find out. 42,000. If I set this to request 143, uh, we should find out pretty soon if the, uh, if the request, uh, provide threshold needs to be changed for those other stations. Thanks for the bunk, Emo. Uh, Onyx TV, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Um, I'm not seeing this happen. Let's just double check. I'm sure we've got plenty of fluid wagons ready and waiting. Okay, so if we change the provide threshold over here, like I thought we had to, to begin with. Uh, provide threshold 100,000. Is that going to create a schedule? Uh, Nox, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, there it is. 
so it was both. Which means I should copy this and bring it down to here and to here. And probably we've got the same issue with light oil. And this one as well. That shouldn't even have a stack threshold, but I'll just copy it. It's easier. One, two, three, four. And then... Cool. Depends where you're from. Isn't it pronounced schedule? I've never heard it pronounced schedule. In German, it's pronounced Zeitplan. Seems good. Alright, so that is going to be more than enough sulfur for a while. And I might just change this back to... 101k. I'm from Canada. We don't know things. We don't know things. Hey, yes we do. <laughs> okay. Let's head back. Uh, and it shouldn't be too long, I hope, before... Oh, we've, we've got 12k uranium already, so... Oh, I want to put a radar here, actually. Make sure we can see what's going on. Uh, don't really have room. Unless we do it like that. This is fine. And that'll be a train to pick up the uranium. Fantastic. The best thing in Canada... Devon Townsend and the Trailer Park Boys. Okay. Let's recharge our batteries a little. And hop on a train. I'm tempted to add a little circuit here just to, even though it's totally unnecessary, um, just to make the inserters swing at the same time. I can do it remotely because of navigation satellite. Alright, so these are just... Read hand contents, hold, and enable, disable is everything equals zero. Yeah, this is what, this is the main reason I don't want to have the alert sounds active. Don't get me started on that. I don't think core miners can make enough uranium to sustain a reactor. Uh, they can't on this planet, but the planet we're headed towards, Tolobai, is actually a uranium ore planet. So it's going to produce... Um, where is it? it? No, no, how dare you. Uh, it's going to produce core fragment uranium ore, which I, I presume we're going to be able to get more uranium out of that than we can from here. Uh, and as it is here, we can sort of almost 
not quite. Like, we slowly run out of uranium if we're running core mining on nuclear power. So that's going to be our 238 again. Speaking of inserters that happen all at the same time, this is my combinatorless balanced unloader. Uh, it will saturate two blue belts quite easily. In fact, it'll, sat it'll saturate four blue belts if you have the right um, layout. And this is assuming a certain stack size. I'm not sure exactly what that stack size has to be. Um, but yeah, same thing as I just did earlier. Read hand contents hold. Everything has to be equal to zero. And also read a bit from the belt. And that is reaching the end of the belt. Let's do rate calculator just quickly. Oh, that's perfect. It's just barely less than two blue belts. And that is uranium-238, getting all the way down here again. And hopefully soon to get through to our train stop. I 100% agree. Out west we know nothing about how to make it right. Make what right? Well, you shoot the uranium over to this planet. Yeah, that's the idea. Meaning they have to have dropped before they can grab again. Yes, that's correct. Uh, for the inserters. It's in the cheese. Okay. All right, so... I'm thinking of redesigning the station just so that we can have it uh, like we did with, I think it was rocket fuel, hold on to the resources and then put them into the chest at the last minute, except for this one, uh, this lot, so that we can have small trains picking this stuff up without ruining the balance. Or we could just have a storage system and then it all outputs just to one belt. Which then puts into the trains. That might be... It's going to be a bit slow loading, but it's not going to be much worse. Talked about building a mall. I would like to see that. All right. Let's check on our rocket first. It's finished loading a lot of stuff. I didn't realize I turned this combinator on already. Um, so I guess we're doing nuclear things. That's fine. It's going to take a little while. Um, I guess here... Or well, maybe here makes sense for a, a mall. I want it to be kind of central to all of the new build areas. Of course, we'll have to make sure rail goes out there properly first. Pick this stuff up. Oh, hey, you sorry. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Next planet out from my nervous is 10,000 radius plus uranium primary resource, so I'm expecting a large amount of nuclear power. Nice. Alright, let's delete this. And then bring this up here. This part. 
Auto save. Are we missing something? Yes. Get rid of this as well. Uh, remove whatever this is. And I think we're just about ready. I think I made a blueprint for it. Not sure. Robo block. Here it is. So it's pretty much already built, but we have to configure it. Which looks better? I think... Let's go vertical. Assuming I can build rockets powerful enough to escape the gravity... Isn't it just a matter of putting more fuel in, in this game? So here we have uh, stations, two stations in each quadrant, uh, and each station can have, if we really want it to, up to 14 uh, different resources delivered to it if we're sending a train load of each resource. It's a little bit like how we set up the um, the multi drop-offs for the sushi system, except it's a lot easier because we're dealing with bots. This is making me realize how many intermediate resources we're not already building in the rail block system. Like, um, small engines, cogs, multi-cylinder, small electric, etc. We could have those delivered directly, or we could just build them straight out of iron. So we're going to need to make a few trips to finish this. The new mall? Yep. I think I will... Hmm... I could always just temporarily set it up so that we make, um, what do you call it? I could set it up so that we temporarily make certain, uh, intermediate products here. And then change it when we have those intermediate products, um, being built in a rail block. Okay, so this is like... Maybe 10, 20% done. Oh, it's one fifth. Okay. So we need 200 more um, of all of those things. And we need way more passive providers and a bunch of rope ports and a bunch of bots. This will be a separate robot network? Yes. Yeah, robots are most effective, throughput-wise, they're most effective at short range, by far. Let's ask for a few more of these. And these. 
and RoboBots. Why does searching for RoboBot bring up Speed Module 3? Whatever the case. Uh, that's a personal RoboBot. That's RoboBot. Oh, yeah, that corner's not so good. Let's, uh, let's improve it, shall we? I think I did do this. Oh, we've got the flamethrower turret, but it has no fuel. Wait, why does it have no fuel? Why do none of them have fuel? Well, so a lot of them have no fuel. Do we have a fuel delivery happening right now? No. I almost feel like I should set this up so that there's a separate station for light oil. And or... Oh no, I think I know what happened. Maybe. Well, it shouldn't have happened this quickly. Um, we definitely want small trains to be able to pick up the light oil over here. And I copy-pasted this wrong earlier. So that should hopefully create a schedule pretty soon. Um, except there's already a train. Uh, let's make this 25,000. There's already a train on its way to that station. And it's waiting on ammo, walls, and artillery. Well, probably most of those things are in here already. It's just ammo. Which means uranium. Which... Where is it? We've got 1.5k uranium, but that is nowhere near a train load. Uh, let's go pick some up, I think. I'll use one of the trash trains as a taxi. Oh, it's not here. Uh, okay. Okay, both of them are headed for what? Oh no, that needs to be removed. Okay, um, if I just mark it for deconstruction, I don't think that's going to do the job. Yeah, they're both headed there. Actually, I know how I can fix this remotely. Instead of trying to deconstruct it. Uh, this one. We'll just connect it to something. Anything has to be greater than zero. Perfect. Done. And our trash train should be coming back quite soon. Fantastic. Uh, here, why don't you take my ammo for now? Oh, they did end up out of sync there. Uh, no. No. Where, where are we going? Stop. I can't... I can't remember where I wanted this train to go. Um, that's very distracting. Yeah, I actually can't remember where we were going. Oh, that's right, uranium. Okay. Um, let's head down here. I guess you 
got more artillery shells than you wanted earlier. And I'll just park this right about here, actually. Okay, that's going to keep you stationary for the moment. Take all the 238. Actually, if I take all of this, it should be fine. That's weird. Oh no, I understand why that is. That'll work out. Totally fine. That's going to be tedious. Let's just go back and the bots can take from my logistic trash slots. Alright, cool. Once we get that ammo done, we'll stop seeing trains. Now what's your problem? No path. Oh, is it because I was working on... Yeah, I need to add a signal over there. Okay. And you're waiting to come here as well. Okay, are we just about empty? Alright, back to the mall build. First thing we do is place that new signal. And I think for now, at least, it's just a regular signal. Let's double check. I think this whole area is just one big sector. Because we don't need that much throughput here, and it really simplifies things. Alright, so that should have our train leaving the station. Fantastic. Yes, he can. Can you go over water with the jetpack, is it? How do I jump to the sea thread? With the jetpack, yes. Absolutely. In fact, you can jump not exactly into the water. If you land, you just can't walk anywhere. But... You can absolutely just chill here, safe from biters, if you want to. Alright, let's keep building, shall we? Just let the bots do their thing for a minute. And I'm gonna grab a drink. Back shortly.
Nope. Nope. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Are we somewhat done building? Old Busk, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Starduke CZ. Verza, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And uh, thank you for the follow. And thanks for the bonk baker's dodge. We mixed in with all that. The spam. <laughs> yeah, every time I take a break these days. Alright, so we need more stuff. I think I don't even... Oh. That was weird. I was going to say, I think I don't even have to change my requests. Uh, just head back to base and the next trip should finish it. I forgot we'd be slow because, uh, bots. Okay, let's get resupplied again. And how's our uranium looking? Not that great just yet. I really should have set up a better system for... Like, I should have set up a balanced loader for the chests and some kind of limiter, or... The thing is, I, I do want these to eventually be full, but I also want it to let Uranium-238 through to here. I just want it to be a prioritization thing. Uh, maybe I should just add a splitter, like, right here, and bring the 238 down to the bottom. Since we're getting, seems like, way more than enough for uh, the Uranium-235. And even if we do put too much 235 down here, the way I've got this set up is it has to put in equal parts 238 and 235. So this will get backed up. Yeah, let's do that. Alright. Um, may as well speed up a little bit. Alright, so it's going to be a little bit spaghetti. I hope you can forgive me. Kind of wish this had ended up being on the opposite side, but that's okay. This goes here. And then... Nope. No! And then this goes here. Maybe we should even, like, priority output it on this side. Because it'll back up based on the 235. Let, let's try that. So, why don't we just... steal this... I need more space in my inventory. And turn off my requests. And then... Add a chest over here. 
kind of got rid of all my chests. What? And my inserters. Big brain. Oh, and by the time I'm doing this, there's more uranium coming in anyway. Alright, we'll, we'll drop this one chest full of it anyway. Pick all this stuff up again. Okay, so 238 goes here. And through to here. Priority outputs to make uranium fuel cells. That will get backed up. Uh... Won't it? This is actually almost half a belt. Oh, it's more than half a belt. Oh, so this is too many machines. Whoops. If we're going to do the half belt. Hmm. Alright, let's not priority output that one. In fact, let's priority output it to the train stop. Because we're already doing 50% to this lot. And here we see how it's going to... I'm pretty sure, even though I messed it up earlier, it'll balance load all of the 238. And then once it catches up, it'll balance load all of the uh, uranium 235 as well. Hey, King Fnob. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Some Italian music? You should, should get a spaghetti-related sound clip. Like that... I, I, I know the one, I don't know how to describe it. Um, like it's used in... Advertisements for spaghetti. Making references to the Godfather and stuff, right? Hope you're feeling better? I do, thank you. Alright, so... It's... It's still going to take a minute for this to actually back up. Hmm. Maybe I should have had more throughput. Oh, hello, bots. I didn't see you there. Let's skip the part where you have to recharge. There we go. I don't know, it's actually... It's not like we're getting more than half a belt of 235. Uh, 238, rather. From this to begin with. It's only 10, actually. So, yeah, there's no reason to change this. Except maybe get rid of some of these machines, but I don't really care about that. Bot abuse? No, I stopped them from having to recharge. As soon as they're in your inventory, they're fully charged. Oh, yep. It's working. Fantastic. Hacks? Yep. A little bit. I mean, it's in the game. It's totally legal. There's nothing wrong with it. Nothing at all. Nope. I should have brought a lot more. I thought I did request no. a lot more passive provider chests. Uh, rip. Okay, how many is this in total? Uh, 384. Let's say that we've got maybe 100. Uh, let's just ask for 300. It's not because it's in the game that it's legal. E A proved it? Uh oh. I also need a lot more blue inserters.
I suppose there's no reason I should have to build all of this before I start using it. But... I like things to be neat if I can help it. Um, let's head back again. I should really get more of a dedicated trax uh, traxy? taxi train, perhaps. On the other hand, the trash trains should be fine for that. Except they're often not here. Hmm. How about this? Make it yellow. I could just have locomotives. Yeah, that seems like the way to go. Where's my rocket fuel? Here it is. Taxi. And... Uh, let's say... Wait for passenger present. If I give it a temporary stop now, does it just go there first? Yeah, let's do that. Whoa, what are you doing? Oh, okay. That's... That's fine, actually. Uh, like so. And like so. And the rest should not be okay, actually. That needs to be like that. And that goes there. Okay. Let's head back to our mall. And it tries to go as soon as... Hmm. Actually, I want to try and set up, set up something clever here. I want to make it so that the taxi will not leave this area until I am in it. When I create a temporary stop, the temporary stop does not include that condition, but I could perhaps make a little something to detect the player. Um, okay. Read sensor, output G. Wait, if it if there's an open gate condition, does it... I think it does output G. Even if it's not opening the gate. Yep. Okay. So we'll do... There's no player sig uh, symbol. Let's do fish. And I'll have it open the gate automatically, just to show that it's found me. Okay... Fish greater than zero. Uh, fish greater than zero. And... I'll send this to our mall. And it just ignored the signal. I think I did something wrong. If fish is greater than zero... Oh, closed condition. Okay. So, we'll try again. Go to the mall. 
wait for me here. What? No. Bad train. Just edit the logic remotely every time. Easy. Yeah, but I want it to not run off the moment I click the um, uh, temporary stop. So if fish equals zero closed, read sensor fish. So it's closed. So our train can't come back. I think our train is stuck. Yeah. So if I go here now train comes home. If I walk away from the gate, gate is closed. Okay. Oh, that's facing, that's facing that way. That's why. Okay. We need, hmm. If I have too full of an inventory. So it needs to be a regular signal facing this way, but then it thinks it can go here, so we need to add a chain signal as well. And like so. That should work. Oh, we could just do this as well. No, then it doesn't think it can keep going. Okay. So, this one. Uh, closed if no fish detected. Mad Mike, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. If fish equals zero, we're closed. Okay, cool. And can I then set it up so that if I'm in the train, the gate will detect me? I doubt it. But that works pretty well. We could tweak it a bit, but that gets the job done. The wire should be connected to the other signal. Yes. Applied it to the outbound one instead of uh, inbound instead of the outbound. That's right. If fish is greater than zero output fish. Yes. While true fish. Okay. I guess we could do like if we doubled the number of locomotives would it be faster or would it not really make a difference? Um also uh please wait until passenger. Acceleration yes, top speed no. Okay then. That's not going to make much of a difference. It's already fairly quick. Is there a list of mods you are running somewhere? Yes, indeed. Uh, so implicit in that list is there's a lot of stuff that comes with space exploration, like the jetpack, for example. And yeah, thanks I am Sark for pointing that out. Alright. We might be able to finish building this this time. And more to the point. Oh. Oh, I didn't think of this. Um there's gonna be a gap in the middle. Unless we change something. 
There's spots where the robot, logistic robots won't go. Alright, I suppose we find the middle, which is here, and figure out how we're going to cram in a roboport. I think we will have to have fewer... We're going to have to get rid of two of the assembly machines, but more to the point, I would like this to be as uh, radially symmetrical as possible as well, but... If I do that... Oh, that's actually not... Okay, never mind. We'll get rid of these two. And we can even keep the beacon. Cool. There isn't some clever way I could make better use of this space, I don't think. Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Have we built everything? Not quite. Seems like that's it. Okay, what should we start with? Iron and copper. Well, this is a pretty good start, actually. Uh, so we've got read logistic network contents on the green wire that goes directly to LTN. We've got requests for various resources. Uh, eight of them in this case. That seems fine to me. If we really want to be greedy with our space, we could do 14 different requests on this side. And we can use the constant combinators here. Huh. Oh yeah, no, that's going to be fine. For a second there, I thought we were going to have to have negative signals for everything else in the logistic network every time we do this but actually all we need negative signals for here is uh whatever we're putting in these chests we want to say don't pick that up on these filter inserters and then we just read from the train to set the filters how does that work exactly uh how does what work or was it the thing i just described or something else. Uh, so we know what's in the logistic network for LTN. We have negative numbers for requests. Uh, provide, uh, sorry, request stack threshold is equal to a large train. The provide stack threshold is a thousand stacks. So in other words, we're never going to provide something from here. The mall. Um, yeah, I think, uh, well, I'm explaining it now. So, super large provide stack threshold means we're never going to have LTN thinking it can pick something up from here. We request one train load at a time. We have a some requests set for 16,000, uh, well, one train load of... A given resource. Once we uh, once we run out, another train will be scheduled, and you can fit 7.2 train loads of stuff in these chests. So if you want to be risky, you could uh, request uh, seven train loads of seven different resources in each row. But uh, much safer to go for say four. Just explain everything and we'll tell you when to stop. No worries. Okay, so I think we'll start with iron, copper, uh, steel, and glass. 
that's going to go in these chests up here. Um, don't really need anything here yet. Iron, copper, steel, glass, and you know what? I should have just used what was already there. Um, luckily, I've got that here. Okay, I'll remove that. This one is this four, and this one is... That's wrong. This one is these four. So we're going to request all eight of these resources be brought to this mall. And at this point, all we have to do is... I was going to say all we have to do is turn it on, which is true. Except we also need to connect the red wire to read train contents. Sky wishes. Sure, that's a that's a good name. So here we have a train bringing steel already. Um, I suppose because we're bringing different resources, it might be okay to have a larger train limit. But generally, I find most of the time it's just way safer to have a single train limit. And here comes our steel. So once the train gets here, we'll read the train contents as long as there's any steel in the train. All of these uh, stack filter inserters are going to have their filters set to steel. But because we only want steel to be on this side, uh, we have a large negative number of steel on this signal here that gets sent on the green wire to all of these filter inserters. Uh, and fil filter inserters, when you set filters, if it's a zero or negative number, the filter will not be there, which is how we are putting the steel up here. How are you? Not too bad. Lick my sins. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Nice name. And the next train is going to be one of these seven. Uh, we could also perhaps add this stuff. Not too worried about coal and uranium and ice just yet. Well, maybe coal. Um, so I guess that one won't really matter for now. Uh, heat shielding, LDS, explosives, solid rocket fuel. Oh, it's already here. I don't know that we necessarily want to bring uranium here. Uh, I guess we'll want to make ammo. Nah, I won't worry about it for now. I'll just remove these. And turn this on. And then connect this like so. I really should have included that part in the blueprint. I should also update the station names. It should be called Mall Drop Off or something. LTN isn't in the mod list. Oh, whoops. My bad. I'll fix it. Can one vanilla train station request different trains? Like, what are you doing right now with LTN? Uh, not really. You can have different trains have different schedules that go to the same station. But with vanilla train schedules, it's really just... It's basically go round in circles, with some exceptions. Uh, and the exceptions are... You can't tell them to skip a station or anything. They just have to wait, or not wait. 
so you can't do that much with it. Uh, Atem L, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. LTN isn't. Oh yeah, that's right. All right, so we we got explosives here while I wasn't even looking. That's cool. And who is coming here now? That's iron already gone. Next is stone brick. And let's check who is playing Factorio right now as well. We got Lucky, Game of Circle. Let's try someone else today. Unless I see... Okay, let's not jump to another language at random, like I've done before. Alright, here comes some coal. So I guess um, if we're not going to have intermediate products delivered. The first thing we should do is make those. That's nice and easy. Uh, shift right click, shift left click. And we probably should have some logistic bots here, right? That might help. don't have any on me right now. Thanks for the stream, no worries. Uh, let me just check something real quick. Alright, let's go grab some more... Uh, some logistic bots if we can. TY for stream, no worries. Where is logistic bot? There we go. Let's just steal all of these. I guess I could have had them delivered, and I probably should have them delivered because bot attrition. But for now, this is fine. Oh, the bots were stealing the other bots from me. Whoops. Where are we going again? There it is. Pretty unmistakable on the map. And away they go. Alright. It is about that time. Let's give someone new a go today, shall we? Thank you all for watching, do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or the Blueprints if you're interested. And if you have any questions, by all means let me know. And let's go check out... Rocket Rush, I guess? Take care, guys. No worries, Roxafall. Thanks for hanging out.